Episode six this week, and we got a guest joining us, boys. Right, Cody. What's from up? Jamison uh, from Jamison Civil, from Shell Harbour. <laughs> Fantastic, and they turn up. They do, Not like some of our guests. <laughs> yeah. so. He's okay. very reliable. Yes. Shit guess. We gave him a lot of notice yesterday. Yeah, it's been a few weeks in planning. <laughs> <laughs> oh, were you nervous? <laughs> I was, yeah. <laughs> it's a big smoke here. Yeah. He's trying to come it's up terrible. with stories, and that's like, mate. <laughs> Just leave it. They're better than <laughs> fucking impressive. <laughs> to outshine our last pods. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, we even got a thumbs down. Well, I was stoked with that. Yeah. Yeah, yeah so we we made the big time, I think. Can you see who no. does it? Haters, man. You want you know, once haters you get big. Yeah, yeah, they're out there. <laughs> the trolls. They're everywhere. I might have done it by accident. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so we're getting somewhere. Because people like jumping on a negative bandwagon. They do. So if you start these guys shit. Look at yeah. Trump, man. That motherfucker built plenty of steam off a negative. Yeah. That's it. So, well, still yeah, yeah, still, he's still, yeah, still he's still you know, we've been talking about this guy fucking too long. He gets too yeah. much anyway. But he's still going on, isn't he? Well, he's enjoyable. the fucking election still happening. <laughs> yeah, he's oh. kind of enjoyable to talk mm. shit about. He's still the president, isn't he? Yeah. Oh, he can still, well, he's, he can still do anything he wants. He's still got the nuclear <laughs> codes, man, you know, <laughs> like for another six weeks or something. That could be dangerous to someone like him. That would be pretty funny, and we're well, not for us, but... <laughs> no. well, I think anyone having the codes is yeah. not, not really uh, not a good idea. <laughs> Really? <laughs> I'm just saying Team America shit in my head. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, uh, yeah. So Cody mm-hmm. used to um, used to tell me he trains with me doing PTs because um, he can throw his hands a bit now. Watch out. Uh, What's give a him PT? shit on the job site. You know, <laughs> like a one on one. Okay, your boxing personal lessons. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, he was telling me a bit um, about his bull riding days when he was a kid. And, oh. Give me a bit of his backstory, so yeah. I thought he'd be a good good person to bring in yeah. and, and talk about something we don't know anything about as no. well. Um, so I yeah, take us through it. Yeah, what's, what's, how do you get into bull riding? Yeah. I was um, bred into it, so my parents were into rodeos, and I'm originally from Tamworth, so oh, out shit, in the okay. country, it's yeah. a pretty normal thing to do. It's like the kids here grow up surfing and whatnot, and I guess we ride it's really, bulls. Is that, and, it's like that. Is that yeah, common? pretty well? It's not not that common, but yeah. it's. Um, yeah, it's pretty common. My, both my parents done it. My yeah. my dad, he traveled the world doing it. He was a bareback rider, not a bull rider. So, okay. Which is horses. Yeah. Um, and my mum, she was a Australian, multiple Australian champion, like breakaway roper, barrel racer. Um, oh, shit. That's and awesome. Cool I started, parents. started yeah. like, riding potty calves when I was like a kid. So, and I just grew from there. Yeah. Um, so, so what you... You're on the back of a bull. It's got a rope on it. Yeah, you got a rope, that's it. and you sort of tie your hand into it, and Shit. it does its thing. You got to try and stay on it. <laughs> that is, but like watching it, it's like it's hard to hard to um, understand. Like the tech, like how do you get better at it? The technique, it's, like what's going on when you're, when like you're on it? Boxing, like there's a certain intricacy. Yeah, there. there is. Yeah, and it's it might look like. The rider is so out of control because this bull's just going ballistic. Mm. But like, there is certain techniques that keep you on, keep you balanced. And the reason you ride with run- one hand and not two is because you- your free arm is your balance. Like, oh, is that yeah. why? So you- you yeah. It's not just to look cool. No, I thought, no, I thought not... that might have been a rule. <laughs> yeah, it is. Oh, okay. It is. So you- yeah, your free you hand's one. not allowed to touch the bull. Yeah. Oh shit, really? Uh, okay. But it's all for balance. Like if you yeah. tried to do it two hands, you just fucking yeah, you're off. Off yeah. you go. So yeah, right. Um, so what do they do to the bulls to get them? They put so a, it's called up. a kicker or a flank, like it, it'll go um, in front of their hips and sort of irritates them, I suppose. And, yeah. um, it's tight, like it goes tight on them, on like a rubber type thing, I guess. It goes tight and they try and kick it off, but the bulls, they're bred to buck, like they're not just bulls from the, the paddock yeah. out here, they're bred to do that. And yeah. they're good you think at they it. like it? They, they switch on and switch, they yeah. do, no, honestly... There's like a lot of greeny stuff around it, yeah, that, yeah, you know, it's cool. cruel and all that. But man, I, I know stock yeah. contractors that breed these man. bulls. And <laughs> they <laughs> these bulls know when to switch on and switch off. Yeah, like, yeah. It's I've seen one radio in my life. We went out 
uh, staying at a mate's place in Borua. Man, that was a place. It hadn't rained for 50 years or something. <laughs> yeah. and, and the radio was in town. And that was the most vicious night. These bulls fucked everyone up. <laughs> they got two helicopters out and all the ambulance from around wow. the area. And they were out of ambulances and helicopters, man. Wow. And yeah, these right. fucking bulls were just, you know, and if you're, that's the thing about, you know, as a cruel night. But the thing if you're destined for the abattoir anyway, yeah. wouldn't you want to get a fucking few yeah. kicks in first? Yeah. They, they get well would, looked you know. after, though. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. It was, and then the, as soon as the riders off, they kind of chilled out. Yeah, yeah. you know, and they and they have this other little, yeah. like hot little cow walk past, and that's it. And they all just, <laughs> you know, do their thing. It's like yeah. it's similar to um, like fighting or anything. Like you can, you, you, they switch on for that yeah. moment, and they can chill out because their testosterone's gone. They've yeah. gotten their bloody gone their load off doing that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Back, Fuck that guy. Relax. That was awesome. <laughs> yeah. yeah, sweet. See so how long did you do that for? Uh since I was like four or something like that, I started on potty calves and worked my way up. But I had a pretty bad um, accident at the Sydney show. I think I was about 14 or 13, and um, that was my career ender. Chucked it in. Oh, um, was it? Yeah, yeah. I got on back after that again, but I just wasn't at the level that I was, and I was very frustrated and scared too. Like, yeah, was that was I was it in a hospital physical was, thing, or was yeah, it a mental? Yeah, no, no. I, I, was, I was in hospital for four months. Oh, shit. Fuck. You Busted me up and, yeah, jumped on me, stomped me. And oh, it's sort of, growing up, you don't have, it's like a healthy kind of respectful fear. Like, yeah, um, you're not scared. You're not like, oh, shit, I'm, I've got to get on this fucking big ball. Yeah, like, yeah. But after that, it became that fear. I was like mm. so scared of getting hurt again. And the big. Yeah, yeah. Hey, people huge. don't realise it. Yeah. 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 It's so strong. Like, yeah, yeah, and, uh, yeah. It's a ton of meat, isn't it, you know? That's why it's all technique. Like you'd never, we would never out muscle a bull. Like it's all technique. Yeah. Like, so yeah, yeah, fuck. Yeah. Fucking hell. So yeah. what? Do you remember your injuries? I had a, I think a punctured one lung, collapsed another uh, lung, ruptured spleen, severed pancreas. <laughs> um, See, and this is like at fourteen extreme sports, eh? Like yeah. You don't. It is fucking it's extreme sports. It's not something sport. you yeah, really, Christ. if you think about extreme sport, like obviously you think about motocross and yeah, skate and yeah. BMX and whatever downhill mountain bike and shit. Yeah, but. Like bull riding doesn't really come straight to your mind until you see it, then it's like fuck. Well, that is right. to me. Like, it's like not. I'm not being biased because I used to do it, but it you're controlled by the bull. Like yeah. all these other sports, yeah. you're in control yeah. of mm. a parachute or a bike yeah. or anything. It's you, not you're in control, you, and shit can go wrong. Mm. Can be deadly, but a bull, it is it running is the show. You, yeah, you've got to try right. and demonstrate yeah, your control. Right. That's yeah. that's part of the pointing point scoring system. Yeah. yeah. But you, you're totally in in the hands of this bull. Like it's, it's kind of like big wave surfing. Yeah, exactly. Really, because you walk control to have over those mm. fucking things. No, it's mm. hold on to your nuts. Just, right. like, yeah. Fuck, yeah, similar. Yeah, it's cool. Yeah. What did you What did you get into after that? Like from trouble. Fourteen trouble. Trouble. Yeah, was no it? direction. Yeah, it was like when I was a kid. <laughs> Still I just, Tamworth. Were you? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I only left Tamworth two years ago or something. Oh shit. Yeah, I've okay. been down here for about two years, but. Up until that, I was stuck there. Yeah, so, not a lot to do if, nah, I, if you're not riding not, bulls. So especially as a kid, like, yeah, it's just pretty shit. So ride dirt bikes. I, I've ridden dirt bikes all my life, so that was yeah, yeah, a pretty cool thing. But um, I was so passionate about bulls, and that's all I wanted to do. And then to have it all taken away, it was like a it was a big drop. Yeah, especially 14, emotionally, isn't it? like, yeah, yeah, I hadn't yeah. even peaked. Like my career no. yet, you know, and I was riding with some of the best in Australia. The Sydney show, it's an invitation only. Like some of the best riders in Australia get hand selected for that. Yep. And I was one of them. And it, Fuck, you it all stopped. got yeah, taken yeah. away and yeah. I was just, I was gutted. Yeah, and then, it's a hard age. Yeah. Usually kids are just yeah. so confused and so much going yeah. on and shit. And then 14. Yeah, to have your sight set on something yeah. and then, yeah, it'd be tough. Especially physically, like you got pretty fucked up. Yeah. I've had a couple of other mates have been like a lot worse than me and they're still like they've come back bigger and stronger and yeah. it just it beat me mentally. Yeah. Like, yeah. It, it was a pretty tough thing well, to get through. People are wired differently, eh, you know. Hmm. Fuck. Shark, I only had shark, to, basically, isn't it, man? Like, or I only maybe had to you're look smart, at a shark and I wouldn't like, go surfing again. Yeah. <laughs> nah, fuck that. <laughs> like, see, I wouldn't get in the water like yeah. a lot of surfers would say, "Oh shit, you're crazy." Like I'd never get on a ball, but there's no way in the world I would be out there not... At least you can see a bull. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> Stay the hell away from it. Out mm. there, I'm telling you now, like, no way would I be out 
in the water where well, there's, there's no, there's no great whites in the bloody dams at Tamworth. There's is there? not. There's pretty big cod. <laughs> <laughs> That's about it. So. Yeah. Yeah. I heard I was out at Windsor on the weekend and up the Hawkesbury they were saying that some of the sharks come up there, bull sharks. Bull sharks. Come up yeah, yeah really. Stuff. Like, we're talking about going wakeboarding out there, and I was like, yeah, I'm keen for that. Like, I'm well out of the the shark zone. They're like, yeah. no, you're not. Like, bull sharks. They yeah. come yeah. up yeah. here and they breed up there. I think. Yeah. Seen in Dockers, like they yeah. go up to the river. <clears throat> they get right up to the end, don't they? So, so they're well, in like the yeah. They change. They can change from fresh salt. Yeah, to salt fresh. to fresh. And you know, yeah. Jaws was actually based on a bull shark attack. Not a yeah, great they're aggressive. Yeah. Bull sharks, yeah. 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 yeah, I'll try and find the clip. There was um when like I lived the in the Gold paper. Coast. There was a, I think a few fatalities. That was back in the late nineties, early noughties. Is that in the river? Something. Yeah, on the rivers. Well, they come in as, as little whatever a baby shark's called, and they get stuck there, and they can't get out because um, they grow too big. Yeah, right. yeah, and they just... Shark-lip. Is it shark yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I think it's a calf. No. It's a calf. I'm an idiot. It's a calf, is it? I think shark so. Calf. A whale is a calf. I think. Yeah, whale calf. <laughs> yeah. Fuck, Maybe yeah. one of our wonderful uh, watchers will be able to tell us what a baby shark is. Yeah. Well, you know type that, it out. That Gold Coast <laughs> River. It's still scary. Yeah, yeah. I had, um, <laughs> had Riken in there. We went up for like a week away, and he's like running around in that river Ooh. and then later on we seen his uncle and he's like oh it's full of sharks that joint <laughs> fuck oh yeah he's like loving it yeah, yeah. 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 that's oh. how I used to think about the fucking Minamara River paddling over that in the morning yeah like, I hated that well, it's no the fear that's seen... the worst part oh, though isn't it it's the anticipation it the, the unknown odds are probably yeah. like they're pretty yeah. low. Yeah. They're too they're high getting, for me, though. Like, yeah, they're still... Yeah. They're getting higher, though. Yeah. God, you know, there are more used to be happening. fuck all yeah. attacks. But there's more people in the water, probably. There's more... I don't know. The there's less one, culling of the yeah. sharks. Yeah, the no main one I reckons there's less fish around for the fuckers to eat yeah, as well, you yeah. know? Yeah. Like, the deep-sea fishing's going off and stuff, they so they're coming Less in. fussy. Less fussy, you know? Yeah. Yeah. Men probably don't eat taste that well. But they seem to generally just bite them and let them bleed out, don't they? Yeah, they like the fatty seal meat, Yeah, apparently. I was having this conversation today with someone. The bull sharks, apparently, like, they just... A, a great white will come and hit you, or and it, it's prey. Yeah. And they'll piss off back to the deep and let it die and bleed out and then come back and eat it, whereas bull oh. sharks, they'll get you in a gang and, like, just... Piranha. Well, yeah, yeah, yeah rip it apart. And... Yeah, yeah, I wouldn't want to go that way. Nah, there's there's not many ways I want to go, but... Nah, that's definitely not nah, one. No, no, that'd be um, at least... The seal, there was actually seals down <clears throat> where we were on the weekend... Just across from where we were staying, it's like a, it must be like a protected spot for them. And they all come and just put themselves up on these um, these big rocks. Like the break wall? Yeah, yeah. And they're just, they're just hanging out there, man. Sweet. Like, yeah, and they go back there all the time. I don't know if they're, they're tracking them all there. Oh, yeah. But I was just looking in the water, just going, fuck me. Like, Where's it? Where there's seals, there's sharks. There, yeah. 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 You're dying. <laughs> Anytime we saw seals, I'd get the fuck out. <laughs> yeah. But, um, yeah, but uh, Sky was telling me her dad said, like, anytime where they're in the water swimming around... It's probably all right. It's all right. Yeah. He said, the minute they get out of the water, you get the fuck out of the water. Yeah. Seals. <laughs> yeah, because yeah. you know then they've seen something. Mm, yeah, right. But, yeah. But anyway, how do we get onto that? Yeah. Bulls, <laughs> bull, bull sharks, sharks. Bull sharks. Fuck. great whites. <laughs> it's a rabbit hole we go down yeah. every week. Hey? <laughs> yeah. Have you seen that shark movie, Jaws? <laughs> yeah, I don't know. the shark didn't look that real to me. <laughs> Still scares me. Yeah, yeah fuck that. The sound yeah, it doesn't, yeah. especially when you're seven or whatever your age <laughs> was. Three, top or like, yeah, I was only young when I seen it. There was, like a, there was another shark movie that came out where this girl goes to this remote surfing spot. Yeah. Have you seen the it? Yeah. She gets, yeah. maybe, and she gets stuck on this little spot. Oh, yeah, yeah. And these two guys, maybe these guys had been taken surfing. Um, she paddles, She just gets stuck on this random spot trying to get away and this shark's just hunt, hunting her down. Oh, yeah. It looked pretty unrealistic for a while. Do you want to see? I think it was a movie called The yeah. Reef and it was a boat yeah. sunk. Yeah. It was yeah. fucked up. It was based on a true story. Yeah, it was two... a tiny little fucking atoll. No, they left them there. They went on a, like a diving expedition. Oh, they, oh that and was a different one. Yeah, yeah. Different. That, that was in the Gold Coast, wasn't it? Yeah, yeah, or like yeah. Brizzy, North... That was one where the, yeah, they went for a diving thing. Yeah. Oh, they didn't count the passengers when they yeah. came up. Lost, lost, oh, yeah, the, yeah, I know it one. That, that was pretty old. You want to see a real good true life shark movie? Sharknado. 
Yeah. <laughs> I just looked at the covers. That's and a tornado and sharks. Tornado and sharks. I mean, that, what's the possibly the two scariest things you can find? Like, a tornado and a shark. Right, let's put them yeah. together and see what happens. Whoever come up with that must have been going. I'm just going to write the biggest load of crap, and yeah. let's just have was, a laugh. Was he all right though? No, but there's no, like four garbage. of them or some shit. They yeah, keep bringing yeah, it out, right? so they must be oh, killing yeah. it. That must be like a. Uh, Korean pop type thing where, the, where it's absolute shit but there's a market for it yeah. or something sorry for all our Korean fans yeah, out there so. we love K-pop <laughs> um, now well I thought I haven't watched fuck all of them but then I watched Machete the other night and there's a joke but fuck it was great it was, yeah. like, it was a really good fucking gory movie you know? be, so I thought maybe great. Sharknado mm. might actually be because you, you think it's going to be so shit yeah, that if it's a little bit not shit yeah. then it's, it might be like fucking like, Ben Hur or something right? Night of the Li- Living Dead no, yeah. not, not a little, Return sorry. of the Living no, Dead? No, no, no. Um, evil Dead. Ash for, yeah, evil, yeah Dead. evil Dead. Ash versus Evil Dead, the yeah. series, isn't too bad. <laughs> yeah, I started watching You know, it's filmed in Auckland. Is it? In, in New Zealand, yeah. I started noticing all these Kiwi mm. actors. I'm like, what's going on here? Yeah. No, well, that was, the, you've seen the Evil Dead 1 and 2. Yeah. You know, gets his hand cut off with yeah. the chainsaw. Yeah, that's fine. Fun movie. Yeah, even, the, th- the third even one, one was, was banned for fucking years. Was it? There was a rape scene where the tree, the tree, the tree rapes yeah. this uh, chick. Now that, that was enough to get it banned. Back in the day, the it tree, was, yeah, the tree. It's, yeah, it's, 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 it's Shit is fucking special effects. But it's supposed, it's, it's supposed a guy to be, in a tree suit. <laughs> well, it's like yeah, a yeah, branch yeah, going yeah. between the legs or something. But it's supposed know? to be a B grade <laughs> yeah, yeah. gore yeah. movie. It's not it's like, like a soft porn, I think they call it. <laughs> yeah. Well, it's tri- trip yeah. porn. Yeah, tree porn. There's earth porn. People fucking in the ground. Sorry to really? get gross, it's, but it's, yeah. It's a bit odd. <laughs> yeah, desperate, I It's suppose. a bit like the in-between. There's a Jay's fucking the hole in the ground in the tent. Oh, you guys seen that? Seen no. I oh, can't I don't watch that. many movies. No, it's like the in-between. is just these stupid fucking English kids. English kids. Yeah. Like, yeah, that's right. Oh, that's right. The season, the season was pretty funny. Well, I used to love it. Um, but the, the movies weren't as good. But yeah, they were pretty funny, man. They were just like every teenage boy at the, the probably 14, 15 Every incident that and thought that you have and happens to you happens to them. <laughs> so they're just these losers going around trying to get laid, and it just never happens. And it never yeah, works if you no, try. It, well, I tried way too did. hard when I was young. It it wasn't until I realised I wasn't going to get any that I started getting some. <laughs> <laughs> it was like, oh, chicks are like that, aren't they? I remember um, one time it finally like about to happen, and I was like, fuck, I don't know what to do. I'm getting out of here. <laughs> <laughs> See ya. <laughs> Oh, man. <laughs> some, some of the girls. <laughs> oh, we won't get into that. No, nah, we won't get into that because we're very. Uh... <laughs> if we had a chick here telling her stories, it'd be fair, fair enough, I suppose. Wow. We might do. Yeah. But, yeah. Hey, well, we'll, get, we'll get back to the bull riding and the. <laughs> yeah, mate. <laughs> yeah, what, did, so what happened now? I thought you the, might um... have done guitar or something coming from Tamworth. You oh. might have written a few bull riding songs. It kind of deterred me from guitaring and music being in Tamworth. Thing. Was, yeah. No, like. I'm one of the few that lived there that actually enjoyed the country music festival. Like I'm not, okay. I'm not. Like, I don't have a certain genre of music. I like whatever sounds good. So yeah. well, I it's enjoyed not just it. It's supposed and... to be country though, isn't it? Like oh, I hear it the, is. the busking's amazing there and stuff. It is, like, yeah. Yeah. Like... No, it's good. And the nightlife, at, like through the, it's actually in January. Oh, um, they're going to do it this year. You know? I don't know. Mm. I don't know. I don't live there. No, no, no <laughs> not anymore. Yeah. No, it's pretty cool though. Like the nightlife, it brings the whole town out as well. Like the the town. People that live there experience stuff that they don't get, like, Regular. throughout the, the normal year. So. Yeah. yeah, it's yeah. Like, well, any festival's great, isn't it, you yeah. know? People put on their festival hats. we have to get some festival hats to come up to Christmas. Yeah, right? we'll have to do a, a dress-up, I think. Mm. Yeah. Santa fucking... What are you going to dress thing. as? Whatever. A lizard. A lizard. <laughs> yes. <laughs> I'll be a gecko. <laughs> I don't know what that's got to do with Christmas, but anyway. <laughs> <I don't know. laughs> so how did you end up coming down here? What was the a work. catalyst, was it? Yeah. yeah, work. Yeah, got. I wanted to get out of Tamworth, so yeah. grew up there and lived there most of my life, so or all my life, and got offered a job down here and took it. So okay, sweet. Mm. And now you own your company? Or? Yeah, well, we've had a company for going on five years. Yeah. So that was, yeah, we got invited to a project down here that, yeah. We, and it's kind of on, ongoing work. Yeah, it's closing up, but we're branching out away from that to to chase more work and stick around, so. Oh, sweet. You yeah. like it uh, down, so where are you? You're... I'm at um, Shell Harbour. Oh, okay. So. 
that's not, well, that's a growing place as well, isn't yeah. it? They got the hub, like the marina. Actual, the marina. Marina's open now, yeah. isn't it? No, no it's not no. open. It's a long way off, I think. Is it? Oh, okay. So. The place is getting a huge day down there. It is. Yeah. A lot it's of people are buying and developing because mm-hmm. of the, the hopes. It's meant to be like the Darling Harbour of the South Coast or something. Yeah. Jeez, I've been talking it, about it so long. I'm amazed when actually cool, started. That's yeah. a, it's a big call. It is. It is coming together, but like mm-hmm. if you go down there now, like they actually, I looked this harbour and the har- the harbour itself is like sort of dug out. Yeah. All the, uh, most of the boardwalk looks like it's been done. I don't reckon. When's it supposed to be finished? Two well, years or it, something? It's changed because they were meant to let the water in at Christmas time and like last year. Oh, okay. Yeah. Have it all. It's got to settle. Like you've got to let yeah, it right. in, mm. let it do its thing. Before they can start. But for some reason, I, I don't work there. I don't know what it is, but they've let it all out and yeah. they haven't brought it back in. So. Yeah, okay. Still got some I don't know if there's like there. a foundation yeah. problem or yeah. not sure. Yeah, right. So. And... <clears throat> FMX, how did you get in, involved with that? FMX, it's oh, not. It's a scene that I've wanted to be involved in all my life. Yeah. Since bull riding, like I used to ride bulls and dirt bikes, but I was never any good at racing. But I used to jump big and yeah. try and do some stuff that people my age and stuff couldn't do. So I used to do a few tricks and that. And um, there was no scene for it back there, and it was just rubbish. And I was rubbish at it, and. Moved down here and actually my partner's cousin, um, he's like a pretty insane dude and does all sorts of backflip combos and oh, rode shit. overseas and like he's, he's a proper freestyle rider. Yeah, so. yeah. And I ride with them boys like, and I'm trying to that brings learn. You up, though, yeah, yeah. Yeah. I'm, yeah. I'm only learning. Like I'm starting out Jesus again. Christ. I haven't ridden a bike in years. Yeah. So I'm just kicking off and trying to make that my new yeah my new That's getaway. Great. So, yeah, yeah. yeah, it's Must a cool um it's a cool s- s- sport to be involved it in. Is. It's something that like like I rode when I was young for a couple of years, and literally did one club race day. It was shit at the time, but I just loved it, man. And it just stays with you. It's a oh. weird, like, it gets into you, and then that's it. It's like I don't know. It's similar to when people get into. Something like if you have a fight or something, it kind of stays with you forever. Yep. It's like motocross is the only other thing that ever that I've ever thought about almost every day. Like whether it's just a passing thought or man, I want to get I want to get a bike again. Yeah. Or, I think it's something bike, to do with men though, isn't yeah, it? Like it's, just... it's a male thing that I don't know. Everyone I've ever known wanted a bike or it's, rode bikes. Yeah, or, yeah. Mm. it's kind of like, it's the thrill thing. Yeah, thing there's no limit to freestyle yeah. either. Like it's. Has been proven. Yeah, what the, the past yeah, 10, yeah. 10, 20 what the fuck are they going? <laughs> what's going to happen Honestly, next? Just keep adding flips. Yeah, yeah. It, it was one flip. We're only talking about it on the way here. Yeah, it was one flip. Was that two thousand two or something? Yeah, like yeah. proper to to, to right away. Yeah, Kerry yeah. Hart did it. I think yeah. in maybe two thousand. I remember I think he was the first to do it in competition. Yeah, and then just X-Games. like he f- fell off as he went. both wheels hit the ground, so they counted it. Yeah, oh, okay. But he fell off. Yeah, but still after that. But now it's kind of par for course with these oh, guys, isn't it? Yeah. If you can't flip, it. you don't even get looked you need, at. You're not yeah. even looked at. You yeah. Yeah. Wild, even, even if you can flip, you've got to be able to do flip combos. Like yeah. It's not just yeah. a yeah. backflip yeah. anymore. Like. Can you do a backflip, take your engine out, pull it apart, and put it back <laughs> yeah. in? Yeah. Or you land. Right. Yeah. They pretty much You can. can't. Oh, yeah. Sorry, yeah. mate. <laughs> I flicked on YouTube maybe three months ago and saw someone do a fucking triple off um, at Travis Pastrana's house. Yeah. It was an Aussie guy actually landed a triple. I was yeah. like, what? Was he a local oh, guy? Fuck. There's some guy from Kiamas. Oh, that's uh, Robbie Madison. Robbie oh, Madison. He, yeah. No, he it wasn't him. It, I think no. it's Harry Bink. I think, oh, okay. Yeah. Maybe I'm wrong. I don't really I follow think, him, I but. I think it might be. I think he he it's, was over there at Travis Pastrana's oh, okay. and done See if you can find it. Oh, oh you. They, they yeah. done the um, trip, must be a triple up. flip to a big airbag or something. Yeah. And then he did it to dirt. Did he? Yeah. Really? That's yeah, so why I was blown out. It. Yeah, he did it to dirt. It's fucking insane. They're doing quad flips on push bikes. So. Yeah. Which, so, yeah, which, like, it's just, I don't know, like, it's impressive. but Because they've been backflipping bikes forever and doubles yeah, and shit. Yeah. yeah. I'm kind of like, ah. Yeah, it's they can do triple <laughs> flipping. Do some front motor, flips. Like, my dirt different. bikes, like, yeah. fucking yeah. hell, it's man. It's got some but weight. And they got on it. combos on front flips now. Yeah, yeah, they do. Man, the shit that they're doing yeah. just blo- blows my mind. Yeah. It's like the games. Remember, like, um, uh, MX Superfly was, like, the first motocross game with half-decent graphics that you could, like, 
the bike went how you steered it. Yep. Like everything before that was like, <laughs> yeah. this, this this was the first game you could like control through the air and whip and get on different positions. And it was just fucking, that was a sick game. Yeah. Oh, <laughs> I never had it? that one. No, what was, was that on? I was on PlayStation. Oh, it was yeah. Maybe PlayStation 2, maybe around 2000 and, Four or five. How's that for a fucking? Oh, I had one like back it. then. Yeah. It was um, called Freak Style. Oh yeah, it was the original OGs like Brian Deegan, Mike Metzger. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Like, um, all. Ju- it was just strictly freestyle. Like yeah. there was no motocross and all that sort of crap, yeah. which was right up my alley. And my um, my best mate at the time, his dad was a DJ, and they had a huge big wall oh, um, with a projector and yeah. we took the PlayStation up to it. Oh, that's nice. fucking paradise, it wasn't it? That was yeah. Like, yeah. So good days. Yeah. There's no, no worries. You just zone out into yeah. your little virtual world. In the summertime, his dad had put it outside for us, like oh, on the true. wall. and of We the did that sometimes and... here. Uh, nice summer night, we'd do a projector movie out, put a sheet up between the trees yeah. and shit like yeah, that. Cool. It's just a different buzz yeah. watching shit outside. Yeah, Because yeah, like, yeah. you get nature as well. Yeah, it's a happening. <laughs> yeah. yeah. I've been watching this thing with the kids because the boys are right. Like Arlo, he's seven. He's just into cars, man. Any car goes past, goes. Oh, would you prefer that car or a Ferrari? I'm a Ferrari son, you know. Like, and um, <laughs> but now he's recognising all the badges and shit. So before he goes to bed, he wants always wants to watch some racing. And we've been watching these uh, the like German motorbike hill climbs. Yeah, with so a fucking sick. cliff, and yeah, you just fucking so go sick. for it. It's so it's fun, man. I love to get that. So cowboy, yeah, those big ass back. Yeah, yeah that's a bit yeah. cheating though yeah. on, on the back there. <laughs> Some of them, you know, fucking make it to They're the top. They're crazy, man. As some of the awesome. like um, Harley type bikes, they get like, and they do them up and put different different setups on them yeah. and try and get them to get out there. They just they're, they're doing like a dirt road bike now. You get like an R one or a Ducati or something, and Fuck. putting like Jeez. decent suspension and yeah. dirt wheels and stuff on it. Like, uh, it's just spastic. Like, I don't even know how you can keep that thing down. Like, yeah. You just, can't. Wah. Or the, yeah. the, it just spins. I think yeah. like the, too much power. Yeah. And they put one uh, no, a GSXR one thousand engine in a go kart or something crazy. Mm. Get out! My mate something had like one that. in like a buggy. Yeah, okay. Yeah. Fuck. The thing was just like spinning out, from what I remember. Yeah. Just, right. Yeah. Sounded amazing. <laughs> have, you, have you shown him the Ken Block um, stuff on the Jim Carner? No, I don't stuff think on I have. YouTube. No. Get in. Oh, have good. a look at that. Like Jim as in. Gym. Yeah, okay. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> and then Kana, like, I think it's K H A N A. Yeah. Okay, what's um, that about? It's just, he's just, it's like all these little series of, um, like, mini movies of him driving. He's a rally rally driver. Oh, yeah, yeah. But he's, he's so rounds, good right? at this, like, um, specific stuff, like this trick stuff. Yeah. He'll, like, they set up all these big jumps and they're going through warehouse and different, like, just different setups through cities. And, Fucking awesome. Yeah, it's wicked. Like, he'll come flying through one section and drift, like, this far away from something yeah, yeah. and hook back and jump off something. It's just sick production, too. Have yeah. you seen it? No. Oh, you'd love them, man. They're f- they're f- no, they're but mad. I've been, been watching like FPV drones. Have you seen them? Put the goggles on. Yeah. No. Fuck, man. I've seen a rally one today. So he's fly- like, it's just like cruising through the trees, and then the drone just goes and drops down, and the rally car comes in, and he follows this rally car, and he's that close, like the mud hits the, the GoPro or wow. whatever the film. Fucking hell. It looks insane. Yeah. So it's like Bluetooth to the car or they something? They go like 60 to 70 kilometers an hour. Like, Jesus Christ. They fly. It's, it, yeah, is it Bluetooth? Or is someone just someone's someone's driving, driving it? it. Someone's yeah, driving it? Following so, the car. Yeah, it's like the goggles uh, so you can see what the drone sees. So it's yeah, a better right. experience so kind of thing. Like, so you yeah, Virtual reality. They call it FPV because it's first person view. Yeah. Yeah. It's crazy. Yeah. It's fucking insane. So it looks so good, but like. The That's, footage you're getting. It's scary to think where, <clears throat> like, extreme sports will go. Like, because where's the fucking limits? At the there is none. It's like, yeah. Just like this podcast, there's no yeah. fucking limits. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so, I mean, to take it back to a different form of sport, I, I've been thinking about the Olympics. And there's some sports I think should be in the Olympics that aren't. Like, one, a simple one would be skip rope. You know, like, fucking, that's really, it's a good mm. sport when you see the double dutch shit. It's really interesting, yeah. you know, and that... And anyone in Africa, they can get a bit of fucking rope. Anyone can do it. Yeah, you know? like, yeah, yeah. That's what I think the Olympics should be. It shouldn't be about, well, of course you're going to be elite, but anyone should have the opportunity yeah. if they're good enough to get yeah. there, you know. Fucking double Dutch stuff. It's and another form of gym, like gymnastics. It's hardcore, yeah. man. Jump yeah. rope. 
Jump and, rope? Um, but they're doing somersaults and shit with a fucking rope. Yeah, imagine you, know? a, you could have all different setups. Like a like routine. Another, another gymnastics division. Mm. Yeah, you could. And, um, like How many mix. boxes would be in that? Uh, Some good, good, good boxes, yeah, hey? Yeah. 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 He, he's like, retired. He yeah. 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 Last time I did my back, I did <laughs> just doing a double on this. I uh, don't think I'd be taking that. How's that boxer? I can't even skip him. I remember, <laughs> I remember trying to get footage of you skipping, and you're like, oh, man, it's probably been a couple of years. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. I literally did my Bassett joint. Like, yeah, right. Shit, really? First session back in of, I can't remember when it was. must have been last year. Yeah, went up, one, two, ding. Oh. And I got home before it went into full, and then I was like, just locked out for... I ended up like this, like my ah. back, like she's supposed to be straight. Ended up like S bend up it. It's fuck. It's hell. so bad when fucking it goes. Fucking backs, man. they're so weak. Oh, eh? yeah. People talk <laughs> about them backs going fuck like, all the time. Yeah. People talk about them going, and now I see them like walking around and shit. Yeah. Like this jump back is not gone. gone. Yeah. Like when it goes, that motherfucker yeah. will yeah. have you laid up I've in been, agony. I've been on a lounge for like a week. Because oh, you're back. Fit balling. Yeah. Not like, moving. Yeah. Yeah. Stand over the fit yeah. ball lay and then rock back and forth. Oh, like, oh, man, I had to get a guy to come try and help me piss the first night I <laughs> did it. It was awful. <laughs> Literally. Yeah, I definitely. couldn't get out of bed. I was like, man, you're going to come hold the bottle for me. <laughs> <laughs> oh, <laughs> but then I worked it out. I was like, <laughs> oh, <laughs> it was awful. And then the next day I had my first baby. So during, oh, shit, during really? labor. Oh, no. <laughs> oh, I remember that. So what could you a move car? Car? Yeah. I like I could stand up and yeah. like hold on to the side of the bed. The nurses would ask me, we were in the private midwife, so they've been nicer yeah, yeah, yeah. if I was all right. And I was like, shut the fuck up! Like, don't make it about me. me. <laughs> Everything's always about me. It's gonna be about me right now. <laughs> <laughs> M's no, getting not the yeah, yeah. It was just, I'm just thinking, fuck, she's gonna kill me. <laughs> <Just ends up laughs> Don't like you that. wreck this with yeah, me? Of course, everything's about you again. <laughs> 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 Oh, like yeah. the, and, that, what, and then is, is time healed it, or Tra- did you tre- actually... so many treatments, man? I'm I'm lucky out at um, Wollongong Chiropractic and Wellness Centre. There's a little plug. We don't do that much. <laughs> yeah, no, no. Yeah, um, he sponsored me like for my whole my whole boxing career. Oh, awesome. so. good on him. And they're and not I've shit. No, nah, he's really not good. like all the other plugs we yeah. give where we pay him out. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah, no. <laughs> He um, is he treat me like two, three times a week if I needed it. With laser therapy, oh, massage, okay. yeah. um, just different stuff, and um, yeah, he got me back pretty quick. But it's never been the same since then. I did it again maybe ten months later, and then it become like an annual thing. And you and you did it not from strenuous activity; it would just tweak I and, did it and go from um. A, Man, I used to be so springy and like everything I did was flat out. Like I'd do everything fast. And then I, I was doing um, like alternate jumps, like single leg jumps off this, um, off the side of the ring. And I just went a little bit too far one way, felt a little dink. And because uh, I'd never done it before, mm. I was like, oh, that's probably nothing. Jump back up again, felt another Oh, you dink, did it again. And I went, oh. what the fuck? Walked away and did a big swinging kick, thinking oh, I'm going to pop no. it back in, and that was it. Yeah. Yeah. I was stuck on the gym floor for like two and a half hours. <laughs> Listen to uh, you, and um, and I, I was just lucky that I had people around me that had done it. Like um, my coach is back; he's got bulging discs, and he's done mm. it bad as well a few times. So he had some shit that I could take, like the muscle relaxants, and like they knew where to put me straight away. And yeah, so yeah. I was lucky in that regard. Yeah. So it helped speed it up, but. So now it's just like anytime anyone does their back, I usually got them uh, sort of you know, yeah. yeah. But it's fucked. It's like you feel so vulnerable, man. Yeah. I'm just thinking, fuck, if someone breaks in tonight, which is a pretty good odds, not tonight. I've been expecting it my whole life and it's never happened. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> it's it's got to be coming. Fuck, man. They're going to be hopeless. Yeah, yeah. well, That's when they scary. start making limbs, I hope they start making steel backs first. <laughs> yeah, yeah, They'll be yeah. fucking lining up for one of them. Yeah, how many people are having them? Like, Everyone. a lot of people's cores are yeah. weak, but, like, my core is not, like, yeah, yeah. like, it's pretty stable and it's... The worst I ever did was picking up a two kilo weight to put on the bar. And, I, like, we'll, I think we are doing deadlifts. 150, like, deadlifts and then All yeah right, don't bloody show off mate. <laughs> this, is, <laughs> this is a long time ago yeah, with yeah, the great yeah. Phil, Phil Lacey but um yeah went to pick up two kilo weight just put a little bit extra on 
I just felt it go, and I was like, oh, fuck, I'm gone here. Yeah. And I was on the lounge for about a week. It's just like a wear and tear thing I have at time. Yeah. Like, you just, people either do them really late because they haven't smashed their bodies that much, or they end up doing them earlier because it's almost everyone does it mm. back at some point. Like, yeah. Anyone that I know does it. Like, even Em has done hers. Which I was kind of happy the first time, just so she knew what it was like. But now it's like, as it's ongoing, it's like, fuck. Like, cause mm. at both, yeah. at different points, we're like, fuck. Like, you feel, you actually understand how, how shit it is. Yeah. Um, we're not, yeah, develop- we're not um, fucking... built very well, are we? Well, no, no, we did too like much of this, bro. We, Sitting, it's, yeah. it's our lifestyle yeah. fucked this. Like, we're not yeah. moving the way we should. Our hip yeah, yeah. Everyone's got imbalances everywhere. But anyway, well, yeah, like, uh, chiropractic hey, show. She said, uh, <laughs> <laughs> well, the chiropractor, well, we I got this chiropractor and he, I had a fuck back and he, he fixed it. But the real story is, Hayley, my wife, she's had tinnitus in her ears, like that ringing since she was like, maybe, tinnitus. T- <laughs> tinnitus? <laughs> well, I don't know. Tinnitus. <laughs> tinnitus. <laughs> tinnitus. Yeah. tinnitus. Yeah. The ringing in the ears, Wee- people. <laughs> for years man no idea. and then that, that would come with uh, dizziness and shit yeah, and, and right. like and she'd be deaf in one ear and, yeah. it was, and it was been going on ever since I've known her and then for about five years ago it got worse and worse just when she was her, her career was kicking off and it got to the point over one summer where she was going to have to give up work altogether like yeah. she was having vomiting attacks four or five times a fucking day tried everything on every drug this ring was getting more and with it comes vertigo and she's just fucked, man. It got to the point where she's not so well, she thought, I don't want to live, you know, like this fuck. And so we did all this research on, well, there must be some fucking reason for it. And they reckon it's the inner ear mm-hmm. and then they were giving us all these drugs. She couldn't have any salt to try and uh, dry out the inner ear and, and it just wasn't fucking working, man. Nothing was working. And um, then we found this fucking chiropractor, Travis. I can't remember his last name, Travis, but he's here. And he's a cervical neck chiropractor. And um, and so she got on some American forum and down on the list number 30, someone said, well, I went to this fucking neck chiropractor and I'm fixed. You know, I'm like, okay. Everyone else was sitting there to eat. It was all diets or X, Y, and Z, but we were on the last thing. And, and so he went to him. And she went to Travis and he's a good cat, man. Because we'd heard nightmare stories about chiropractors, honestly. You know, mm. we went to physios and shit. There's a lot of but, but, you know, the whole just fucking crack yeah, and hope that and shit like work, that. Yeah. Um, but this guy is the, the furthest from that you could think. He fucking x-rays. Yeah. And then he fucking, so, and he only does basically the neck and mainly the atlas, which is the last bone on the, from your spine to your head. And that is normally out on everyone. And if your back's fucked, a lot of times this tiny little thing, man, it can twist like that by two mil and you're fucked. And you yeah. get headaches and shit like this because your two main veins, blood veins to your brain go through that. So okay. if this little tiny bit out, it's going to pinch those veins. And he's and it, she was out by the worst he'd ever seen. And he goes, okay, I'll do an adjustment. And we thought, oh, fuck, he's going to crack your neck or something. And he lays it down. And he pulls his fucking machine out. And it, it's the stupidest looking machine. And it's got this little fucking metal finger on it. And he goes, okay, just lay there. Okay. And he measures it all up with these fucking angles. And goes, okay, three, two, one. Duk. And he goes, like this. There's nothing happened. Like, it's like some fucking airy fairy shit. But it's not. Everything like some sonic shit goes on. Yeah. And straight away, blush, blood rushed to her ear. And she started being able to hear out of this wow. ear. Wow. And um, it was fucking wild. Yeah. And, but she, and he goes, okay, I've moved it back into places. And so there's no cracking. And he goes, but you've been out of place for like 20 years, man. So you're going to be coming every week. For the first time, she was going three or four times a week. But he fixed it. And within six weeks, man, the ringing went. Um, everything fucking came right. And now, like this has been two years later, and she's fixed. She doesn't have this fucking thing anymore. Wow. Mm. And then I had a bad back in that. And I was out by a funny amount. And he did it. And he did it to me because I thought it was shit. You know, I thought it was all fucking placebo. Yeah. And he does this funny little thing, tick, and he can't even feel it. And then I felt the blood rushing fucking to my ear, which I didn't even realize was blocked. Yeah, you can feel it. Yeah. Yeah? Yeah. You can't feel the click, but you can but feel the, the after effect. Yeah, right. Yeah, right. something fucking happened, you know. And it's, Did he give they, you anything like a bag of mushrooms? Or <laughs> <laughs> I might take some. When I go. I'm actually, because yeah. this is the fucking nose thing, I've had to be sleeping up for the last... For like yeah. six weeks and that's my next fuck now go back and go back get the sonic boom get the sonic boom man <laughs> Dar- <laughs> Dar- <laughs> <laughs> you Let's got a gear on in that <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah yeah so um nah well that's I don't know I'm not yeah. trying to advertise them but it's a nah. fucking work yeah good on your Travi yeah good on your Travi whoever it was yeah, yeah, yeah. they get a bad rap car they, they do, do. Yeah. and there are they call some them, shit ones they call themselves doctors though but like but some of them if they know the body well like 
like uh, the guy that I see is all it's all um stuff that physios do. Yeah, I've been to him. He was and really then, good. And then like alternative stuff as yeah. well, and then adjustment if needed. Yeah. It's not like you got like I'm not going to mention names, but certain people just come in, and just yeah, done that. I mean, ultimately, how can that ever fix anything anyway? If you're out and you go, boom, as soon as you go out and get back to everything, your muscles put, go like back to tightening yeah. up and the imbalances are there, it's going to pull you straight back that's out right. anyway. So it's fucking stupid. Well, that's it's what money found thing. with the physio because they, yeah. they had degreed and everything and the physio yeah. first thing was say, oh, fucking, we'll do that. And fucking crack the neck in front of me. I'm like, you're going to break your fucking neck. What are you doing? <laughs> yeah. Like, it's just yeah, mental. No, There's weird. a trillion nerves going yeah. through that fucking yeah. area, yeah. man. You know? yeah. They do the same technique for anything that's wrong with yeah, me. I've had shit wrong right. with my knees, yeah. and they'll do the same thing to my neck when I had a <laughs> shoulder injury or something yeah, like yeah, that. Yeah. I'm like, how's that yeah. even work? But, yeah, yeah. Because yeah. it moves. They're yeah. like, we'll just move that. Because they well, can get it to make a noise. Yeah, like, that's right. Yeah. Well, to a hammer, everything looks like a nail, doesn't it? <laughs> that's right. How's your body after... I know you only did it when you were young, but uh, like because you're developing and stuff in that that stage, like how how's it feel these days? Is my all my joints and that suffered. I, I got down to I think it was like 26 kilos. I had to learn because I was bedridden. I couldn't eat or anything for Fuck four months. 14. Jesus Christ! I was fed on a drip. Went my arm into my uh, main artery. It's called Holy TPN, shit. and it just was enough nutrients just like to keep me alive. Yeah. I had to learn to walk again and Fuck. everything. Fuck. But my joints, like especially my legs, suffered really bad from that because I'm trying to walk, like try and walk with no muscle, you know? Like it's yeah. Just, yeah. And, and you... All your cartilage and shit. Yeah, everything fucking... like seizes up, like um, all the tissue and that between your joints, yeah. Yeah. like sort of in a way kind of dries up. Actually, and then when you... Because you're not moving. Yeah. Yeah. When you try and do it again, but my back actually was the worst. It's just from being bedridden for for so long. Like yeah. even if you, you lie down for a good few hours, you, you wake up sore. Like yeah, I was, yeah. like was lying down for four months. Four months. So Fucking hell. I man. still suffer from my back. I don't have anything like that's demobilizing like you did, but I've got constant pain all yeah. the time, and I've Which tried so fun. much different shit, and I just live with it now. Like yeah. it's. Shit, really? Yeah. Have you tried That's why I was very in? interested in, in Trav. Shout out Trav. Yeah, yeah, um, yeah. Well, it's worth a try. Was... I get migraines like yeah. mm, twice a week. Well, if you've had a right. massive injury like that, the best thing about Trav is it's not invasive. Yeah. Yeah, it doesn't work. Oh, well, you know, you're out a few bucks and it's yeah, okay, yeah. you know, but that's the problem if someone does that to your neck and it doesn't work. Well, well I still go to a chiropractor now pretty regularly just yeah. for that tiny little bit of Relief. satisfaction. Yeah. Like. Jesus yeah. Christ. Yeah. Um, that's the thing about chronic pain, eh? If you don't yeah. have it, you don't. Like, I'm lucky yeah. I don't have it, but it's fucking wearing. Man. Yeah, yeah. It's so wearing. I'm 27, and I'm like, yeah, learned to live with it. Yeah, yeah. Like I don't know any different now. It affects my sleep, everything. Like yeah, it's, I'm always tired because I'm always sore and. Yeah, I feel yeah. Yeah. It's, um, <clears throat> what about like your head? Okay, that makes me wonder, mm. like, with your... Because bull riding, obviously, there's plenty of fucking concussions. Mm. How many... How many Have you been knocked out much? Yeah, or? I've been knocked out oh, probably six or eight times or something like that. Yeah. Um, concussions, I Who won't then be able to yeah. keep track of. But I, I was... I wore a full-face helmet. Yeah. So it's like... Back then, they were hockey helmets, like ice hockey helmets. Yeah. Um, to protect your teeth and nose yeah, and all yeah, that. Yeah, and yeah, fair I wore a full face, but a lot of my mates wore an open face, like a horse riding helmet. They would get the same knocks as what I would, but I would still get knocked out through a full face helmet mm. and just be yeah. like, oh, so that impact on the it. brain doesn't yeah. change, but it's like a boxing headgear. Like people think if you got a headgear on the impacts less. Yeah. On your, it's just, same it's not at all. Same as NFL. <laughs> Shit. Yeah. It's like you might feel. Like, you mightn't get that sting of a shot yeah. hitting you. But or, the effect's still but there. But the brain impact yeah. is possibly worse because it catches worse. Yeah. I don't know if I think 100%, didn't they find that when they people... did a study yeah. because their glove catches, like, there's more boom, impact on that brain going. Yeah, boom. Well, yeah I know more Your boxers started target, dying they, when too. they started using gloves. Yeah, but when it was bare knuckles, mm. you can only punch someone so hard that's right. before you break yeah. the fucking. Exactly, yeah. that's why they brought them in so you could deliver shots. More shots, yeah, because you fucking yeah. hands up pretty easy. I'm pretty sure Ned Kelly had like a fucking two hour fight. Ned Kelly, I'm pretty <laughs> sure. 
Okay. Your that's Ned Kelly. Oh, that's because he had a metal helmet on. And there was no gloves. He forgot to cover his legs. I can take these he, all had, day. he had a life before the, the actual shooting. Okay, yeah, so I, I will research that again because okay. I read um, that Peter Fitzsimmons book on Ned Kelly, yeah. and I'm pretty sure. Yeah, well, as a he was, was a box. He was an actual no, boxer. no. Okay. He had Just a blue. A yeah. And it went off for two hours. Yeah, it was like it's a... in the shape of them motherfuckers. Like, it would have been terrible. That would have been... Yeah. Snapping yeah. between it and shit. Yeah. <laughs> Jesus Christ. <laughs> My mate, fighting someone for two hours. Yeah. Yeah. That. He mustn't be able to punch for shit. But yeah. if wouldn't you like all oh, your anger like, and shit you know, be gone I, by then? And you're like, oh, fuck. Yes. You, you win. Yeah. Fuck off. <laughs> it's probably over something like my beard's longer than yours or something too. <laughs> Is the law of a side if I see that? <laughs> Get them dukes up. What else did they do I challenge you. Back in the day in the boxing match, it was to stand and deliver, wasn't it? Like you weren't allowed yeah, to actually move. Think, you just oh. fucking stood. You were punched oh, in the face and the other person like, punched you in the face. Kind of like the old war where they just line up with their muskets and yeah, you're not, yeah, you yeah. can't fucking Fire! move. Boom! Like, hang on, so Why do we keep we're not allowed to move. Why? <laughs> <laughs> Why can't we move? So all the generals can make you look like chess pieces. Yeah. And, yeah. and then the cannon comes through like, <laughs> yeah, and yeah. just wipes out. They were still doing that shit in World War One, man, and machine guns. Yeah, they were. Like, running, but no, at least that was um, trench war where they were running it yeah. into That's machine guns. Right. Yeah. Over the top, lads. Right. Yeah. Go I've got a sore foot. I've got you guys go for it. I'll meet you on the yeah. other side. Right, how's that scene in the movie Gallipoli, the old one? The last scene? The last scene. Yes. That's fucking tragic. Dude. You seen um, yeah. 1917? No, I haven't watched it yet. Fuck, no. the camera work on that's mint, but yeah. the movie's awesome, eh? Yeah, them, yeah they, different times. They make you, because they, it's filmed as if it's one shot. You never see any oh, cuts. Shit. Wow. So there's no that's breaks cool. yeah. in the action kind of it's thing. Like you're there. Yeah, it's, and, yeah, they rehearsed it for like months and months. But it looks, it's one take, the whole yeah, film. Yeah, it looks like it's not. They okay. hide the cuts in doorways and shit like that. Okay. But it's... it's That's Ro- impressive. You know Roger Deakins? He's like... Yeah, yeah. yeah. One of the There's, there's a, a Russian movie called The Russian Ark, and it's done in this, uh, like the Tsar time and the revolution's happening. <laughs> and it's a two and a half hour movie, and it's one take. One shot, man. And the Ooh. fucking camera... And they do these ballroom scenes, and there's fucking symphonies and bombs going off. Fucking wild, Imagine if man. you, like, farted or something. Someone fucked <laughs> up their lines. <laughs> like, yeah, with I've fucking got... ten minutes to go, <laughs> you just have to fart. <laughs> They'd that fucking again. kill him, <laughs> eh? Yeah. Some asshole would. It's a joke. Get those in- internal ones. And... <laughs> 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 You're like, shh. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, that is the fucking worst thing, but... When you can't fight, you've got to hold them. And uh, if you build them up for a couple, I used to hold them on the plane all the time. If we were going overseas, I just I don't, know, I don't feel right about firing because they always fucking stink. So it's just like holding them in for hours. It's and air hours coming off and, shit, isn't it? Man, and eventually I'd just be so banked up and uncomfortable. That was the worst bit about flying for me. I remember sitting in, um, I can't remember which, it was one of the airports in America when we went over to Boston. Um, you yeah, remember we a fart Boston. from Boston? Yeah, oh my God. It was so Boston. uncomfortable, man. We were sitting there waiting. I was like, fuck. Like, just oh, just let it out. And man. then when I got... Yeah. No, but it was so binded up oh, at that yeah, point. Yeah, yeah. 10 hours. It had gone all the way hours. back through your intestines. <laughs> oh, it, it turned into a burp. <laughs> <laughs> you brush your teeth, oh, bro. fucked, man. Yeah, yeah. Anyway, how do we get up to that? Yeah. Tell me about Cody. Talking about bull riding. <laughs> <laughs> Nick Kelly. Well, I just, I just want to say, you know, that Nick Kelly fight, two hours. Oh, I was working at this cafe. I was with one of my girls there. She came home one day. She goes, oh, my dad came home. And her dad's like, you know, 60 or something. And he came home one day in the afternoon, like from his from his gig. And um, and he's covered in his shirts all torn. his fucking blood all over his face and like that. And she goes, what the fuck happened to you? And he like, in his 60s, and he's driving his car down suburbia and that, and there's some dude mowing his lawn. And he remembered them from fucking high school. And he always <laughs> fucking hated them. And the guy hated him. And, they wrote, and he wrote down his window, like, was looking at him. The guy looked at him, you know, fat gut and all that. said, 
you want a piece? Goes, yeah, I fucking do. About time. Yeah. And he stops the car. These two old fat fucks just start blowing. Like, they blew for fucking ages and fucked each other up. Ah. Got up again, and then he came home. Dad's all fucking munted. Because you should have seen him. I got him. Fucking hilarious. Yeah. There's some characters here in Australia. Yeah, man. Yeah. Jesus fucking oh, I just Christ. want to clarify on that Ned yeah. Kelly thing. I'm probably 90% wrong. Uh, yeah. <laughs> but I'm for sure, two minutes. I'm sure it went for a while. It was, yeah. Tell you, the, the best blow I ever heard about was in New Zealand. Well, they used to do 15 reading. rounds. So. Well, there's, there's one and there's a big punch up in a supermarket. Well, Unlimited. So. Yeah, and. You, you um, need a fact checker. Yeah, we've got a fact checker. Yeah. Yeah, and, we and do anyway, it later. There's a, there's a big fucking blue, <laughs> and two old guys are going hammer and tongs and fucked each other up. The cops turned up and they said, oh, what happened here? And both of them had uh, Alzheimer's. Couldn't fucking remember what happened. They didn't even know they'd been in a fight. Jesus. Yeah. Have you seen Memento? That's funny. With, yeah, um, yeah, yeah, yeah. Guy Pierce, is it? Yeah. He's he's fucking hunting this murderer for the whole whole movie, but he's got a short term memory, so he has to get tattoos or write it down. Yeah. So he remembers things, and then he follows that lead. So he'll find a a paper, say service station or something, whatever the address. Mm. He'll go there, and then he'll hunt this guy down, kill him. But he's been doing it for like years because he he can't remember. Yeah, so he's yeah. killed all these people. It's not the guy. <laughs> like, no. It's not the guy. Fuck. It's, it's not a bad movie, yeah. eh? Yeah, it's a good movie. He's not a bad actor, eh? Yeah, he's good. Um, yeah, I worked with this cat with short-term memory loss. Um, when Arlo got old enough, I wanted to go back to work, and I got a uh, job um, training kids with disabilities at, um, like in the kitchen and stuff. It was a cool job, man. They are all really cool kids and one of them was just the most normal Aussie guy I'd ever met he was a fucking really cool cat and he was overdoing his OE and he had a fucking uh, a minor stroke man and he'd um, lost his short term memory like just fucking gone yeah. he couldn't remember a thing man um, but he was so fucking funny with it because he knew he couldn't remember it and you know you'd be sitting there and say okay bro chop those tomatoes and the cucumber and all that and I'll do this and that and then and then he'd like start peeling something so what do you want me to, like it was, kind of, it was kind of funny but then it, you really felt sorry for the dude but he didn't feel sorry for himself, man, you know. Yeah. And so we had a sandwich bar out the front and we had all these suits coming in. And so we used to put him on the sandwiches. And the fucking <laughs> the dude just came up and said, okay, I have a whole meal with fucking cheese and all that. And he goes, right, yeah. And he'd turn around and he'd come back around like this and say, hello, sir. What do you like? <laughs> <laughs> he goes, after four fucking times, the guy's like, are you fucking with me? He goes, no, i got a brain injury, man. What do you fucking expect? <laughs> <laughs> We just missed ourselves yeah, laughing. I never made one sandwich. That's good. <laughs> yeah. But he was a fucking cool cat. That's yeah, the way to deal cool. with this movie. Fucking yeah, laugh at yeah. it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It doesn't define it. him. No. But it, well, yeah, but it's fucking terrible. Oh, hey, you know, yeah. it's so Your debilitating. Mind is like, yeah, it stresses you out when you're starting to think. Oh, yeah, hats shit's off wrong them. with it. Like, oh, yeah, cool. Sorry, working with people. Like, like, Back to CTE. Fucking people. Huh. I think I've got short-term memory loss from concussions. and Yeah, yeah. Not literally, but... I've got a bad memory, and it's. I think it's all from head knocks and. Oh yeah, I wonder whatnot. about yeah, that. Yeah, yeah, um, yeah. If you see, you get migraines twice mm. a week. So who knows? Yeah, yeah, debilitating yeah. migraines, like no vomiting, way. sensitive to light. Like I can't move. Mm. I've got to have medication and stuff, and go back to sleep. I'm good for an hour. Like I'll, if I have my Christ. medication, go to sleep for an hour, I'll wake up with just a bad headache, and I'm happy to have a bad headache. Like yeah, yeah. The mean, migraines. Go see the man. Yeah, Trav. Well, it goes, it goes, yeah. it's worth a shot, eh? Oh, 100%. Yeah. I've been doing this since I've got out of hospital, it, trying... Like at 14? Yeah, yeah. Since then? My uh, my mum and my nan... must have been stressed out. Like, put me into, yeah. like, chiropractic and stuff. I actually had to have a lot of time off. I couldn't do any chiropractic when I first got out because of my organs, like my pancreas. They flew a doctor from Jordan, specialised in Fucking pancreases. Hell, really? They'd never had an actual severed pancreas before. So usually they would, um, well, in theory, they were going to take the bit away that um, was cut off. They put a stint in because I had so long to heal from other stuff, like my lungs and stuff. They thought, well, you're in here. Yeah. We'll put a stint in. If it heals back together, sweet. If it doesn't, yeah. we'll take it out. Like it was just going to float around in there and it healed back together. And uh. um, So the stint, did it go around it and hold it together? No, it? inside it. So inside. you know like the... Finger traps? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Kind of like that, but inside. Wow, and they held it together yeah. like that. Jesus Christ, yeah. man. So, yeah. But I, I couldn't have any chiropractic or anything like that, any physio yeah. for a period of time after I got out of hospital because they would... Heal him, yeah. yeah. If I got a jolt, like, they reckon that could have put me back in hospital. And, yeah. Ah, 
So how long were you, was your recovery? <clears throat> Not long, like maybe four or five months. Shit. They said I'd never play contact sport again, like, and I got as soon as I could. In, in 12 months, like, I was playing footy again. I used to play rep footy and I was playing Week. footy yeah. with school. I got into boxing and just trained and I was fighting all the time at school anyway and yeah. um, dirt bikes, anything that they – and I got back on bulls, like, after – I had a oh, year off. You? Yeah, okay. a year off and I, I got back on bulls. Well, you can and, understand your confidence being fucking shot. It was. I, I, I used to cry. Mm, like, yeah. I was that upset because I – Lost all feeling in my legs and all that, and a lot of bull riding is your hips and your legs. Yeah. And I, like we have conversations about my hips being so bound up, I, mm. I haven't got any feeling or can't really? move my hips freely like I used to. Like that's a massive part of bull riding is yeah, your yeah. hips. Like mm. like boxing, like, mm. and it's just I struggled with it, and it used to just upset me that much. And yeah, of course it would. I just quit. That was it. I couldn't deal with the frustration. Yeah, and not being as good as. It's- yeah, because yeah, I knew be, what yeah, to do. Yeah, yeah, I knew yeah. how to do it. I just couldn't get my body to do it. To do it yeah. I saw watched a doco That's on right. guys with head injuries like snowboarders. Yeah. I don't know if you saw that one. No, there's a there's a cat and he was going to be the world champion and shit. And he tried to do a triple fucking somersault, landed on his head and got a major brain injury. And um, that's fucking debilitating, man. He yeah. got up and he thought he was a ro- no. Well, a year later, okay, he's starting to walk and all this. A few years later, he goes, oh, yeah, I can get back on it. I'll be all right. And they're like, we don't know if you're going to be all right, man. And he was adamant that he was going to get back on the half pot and start flipping and shit again. But then when they even went for a, a ride, like a, a, a normal just board, man, like he was completely fucked. And, yeah. and so the, the documentary was basically made half by him um, and half by his family to try and convince him not to do it. Mm. And then they got him to interview these guys that had like skateboarders that were world champions hanging out with Tony Hawk and all that and got a brain injury. And they got back on the board and got a fucking another one. And these cats were just fucked. Like they were, mm. sorry, the old school vegetables, you know. Yeah. Like and they were still thought they could do it. Yeah. You know, they still had this passion and this, oh, I'm, yeah. I'm that guy. And they just weren't that fucking cat anymore. You it's, know? It's, it's, it was it's, time to let it go. It's such, like CT is such a... It's so much more prevalent too than I think people realise because you wouldn't even people are only thinking about combat sports when they think oh, about normal it. people or the NFL, mm. but like pull mm. right and of course imagine how much your head's yeah. just going and and stuff like that. Where well, imagine getting hit by a car. I remember Ro- Roseanne Barr. Remember Roseanne? Yeah, was she heard about she had a, yeah. yeah, she was hit by a car yeah. at nine. Yeah, Rogan she was, was talking. About yeah, this, yeah, apparently yeah. she was really smart. Yeah, like yeah. really intelligent, really good at maths. But hit by a car was institution, institutionalized for like nine months. Couldn't do maths every yeah. like mm. every game. Now she's a fucking weirdo. And, and like. Yeah, but that's she'd why been they right for a few years though. <laughs> yeah. like she, what the no, show was yeah. good. You know? That's that's why they reckon she's successful though because she didn't yeah give because a she fuck. had brain damage. Oh, okay, yeah, because yeah. she was brain damaged. So was she bipolar after that or some shit? Well, they, I don't know, no one Was really that Rogan said, interview? She was a fucking he, mess. Yeah, she was on a lot thing. of shit, though, wasn't she? Yeah. She was taking a lot of stuff. Yeah, which is hard, because you don't know what you, what you, you don't know, know, yeah, is that the real her? Yeah. But see, and Rogan, then you get into conspiracy theory, and if you can't see the wood for the trees of that shit, if you can't take a joke, <laughs> yeah. you're, you know, all that shit, you need to put a moustache on and fucking funny glasses, just to remind Gonzo yourself, Mark, yeah. like, you know, this yeah. is all this is all fun, man. <laughs> don't get too serious about it or anything. Like, um... Like, Rogan reckons he's got it just off a few years of kickboxing. I, I, I he did know Taekwondo, that, but, like, how... Yeah, how do you There's know? a lot of... You've got to live that shit. Like, how... Did, yeah, I don't know. I don't, know. Know. I don't want to comment because I don't yeah. really know, but... I, I, I feel like um, any effects that I have would have been from when I was young. Because we never, like... I did some hard sparring, like, at the Institute of Sport and stuff, like, with the old coaches... Because you used to spar. If you hurt someone, you, you fucking had to try and finish him. And it was the same back. Mm. And you're doing it in 10-ounce gloves and it was all competition-based. So you're fighting all the time, basically. Mm. But, um, and even as a kid, like, I was sparring men all the time before I met Nudge. Um, like, I used to go home fucking hazy, blind in certain mm. spots Jesus of my eyes. Christ, really? Yeah, as a 16 year old living, like, I was That's by myself. That's fucking terrible because your brain doesn't develop all the time, properly man. And there, before yeah. that I was running BMX. 25, yeah. Like I remember like waking up, like being knocked out off a, off a set of trails, 
I'd gone off the first one, bailed on the second one, and just woken up. Everyone, like, standing around me. Everyone used to call me Pizza Boy because... Um, my old boy had a sh- pizza shop. <laughs> pizza boy, pizza boy, you're right. I'm like, Fuck. and oh, I was, I was completely blind in that eye. Oh, rode Jesus home, Christ. didn't tell my old man because I wanted to be able to ride the next mm, day. Yeah. Went out, you do the same shit over and over. So that before boxing, and then like I reckon these boxing occurrences when I first started were probably like maybe twice a week. Because like, I was sparring sixty or yeah. fifty-seven kilos sparring like. Yeah. Um, uh, I used to live with Tui Leveni. He was he was a pretty good pro at one point, and he could punch for that weight. And um, we used to spar like mm. he was an adult. He was like twenty four or something. But we used to spar pretty hard, like because if I started getting shots on him, like they'd always let their hands go. Yeah. And I used to think it was yeah. cool to be tough, like yeah. and just take so many punches back then. I remember that um, CTE doctor saying it wasn't like the all the big shots it was all the shots like mm. so even the the jabs and like ones, yeah. just the constant there so yeah. th- you can't just say oh he's got CT because remember that time yeah, you got that yeah. big it's one big that. shot on him it's like nah man nah. like well I think about like a fight on. like um the Sam Columban fight yeah like where I know I hadn't like I'd done the weight really bad my body was melted I think maybe we've talked about oh, it two weeks ago I think yeah and um but like just not having the right electrolytes and the hydration, mm. like enough f- fluid in your system, and and then getting hurt with shots that like really would be putting they were short circuiting me. Yeah, like I yeah. didn't know what was going on. But you get through ten rounds of that, mm. it's like it can't be good for mm. you, man. It's mm. never just that one. Like like f- when I started getting the everything right, I got sparked by um, Rocky Jerkic with a big shot, but bounced back up and then I was fine. Yeah. Um, like those type of shots are alright, I think, because they're not. Well, they're probably not over time. <laughs> but the fight, like against that, that same Columban, where I was in a worse predicament, making weight, and I took punishment for like a fight. Not even that I took that much punishment, but I just took way more shots than usual. Um, I think do a lot more damage. To, yeah. Like it, it's a bit the same, man. Like day in day out, sure, riding yeah. balls. How can you not? Like and it does affect you. Um, so you got short term. Are you saying that? I don't. I don't really know. To be honest, if it's my brain, like, yeah, you know, I try and you try and pass it off as just um, because it might like you just been I've lazy. Got, like, I've never been really fucking knocked yeah. out or anything, and my fucking short term memory is yeah. ridiculously. See, yeah, and old. I think it can. I'm yeah. fucking <laughs> old. <laughs> Thanks a lot, guys. <laughs> yeah, I'm just starting to get old. <laughs> but I'd be like this when I was 16. When I first started yeah. chefing, I say, right, I'm fucking chopping away. I need tomatoes. Yeah. Walk to the fucking fridge. What the fuck do I want? Yeah, the problem. Chopping, we'll start chopping. Oh, I need fucking tomatoes. Yeah. Back to the fridge. <laughs> I'd be like five fucking times, thinking I was stoned all the time. Yeah. Was. See, my problem is, but like, I don't feel like I've ever had that before. Yeah. Like when I was younger, mm. even when I was boxing when I was younger, yeah. I don't feel like I've had that until. So you, you feel a difference. Years, you feel a change. Years. I think so. Yeah. 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 And it's scary for people. Like imagine how hard that is for like people close to you to yeah. listen to, and and people often don't want to like admit to it. But like, that's no, good to admit because now yeah, you can get on top of it. Yeah, and that's what I thought. Like that's what I'm saying. Like, you got to like you got to be. You know, I didn't mean for it to happen, but it has. So, and it does. feel feel like it's there but so let's just like work it's the, better to have fucking face it yeah. oh, and start yeah. working on rather it rather than having your, your your loved ones wonder what yeah. the fuck's up with him all the yeah. time you and, know like talk and to you him. hear it with guys issue. like um like i know heaps of pros that slur really bad they can't most of them do man so many of them are so punchy and Hagler watched him the other night and he actually could talk and he goes look at me i'm not slurring yeah i'm like fuck does everyone else is slurring man he got out at the right time man they got this documentary on meldrick taylor and julio cesar chavez oh yeah I remember Chavez, yeah. yeah. So Taylor smashed him up, man, for like, he was out boxing him, but Chavez slowly was breaking him down. Anyway, he stopped him in the 12th round with a second to go. It was super controversial oh, stoppage. Really? He was losing. Like, he, the, Meldrick got up, but Rich, um, Richard Steele stopped the fight. So it was super controversial. And then I followed Meldrick from then. And like, you could hear his speech and stuff till. Like, it was years and years later, and he was oh, still man. fighting, trying to make something oh, back. It took, no. That fight took something from him. Man, he is a home slam, so he, he couldn't mm. understand him. He went from being a sharp talking, yeah, you know, mm. all together, real borderline, like, brilliant fighter, 
to being this sloppy w- mess that, physically that and mumble, yeah. could he... I'm just wondering if it's a physical thing, whereas he's not getting the word... Like, is, is, has anyone interpreted that mumble? Is he making sense? Like, is, is, he, is his mind still like sharp, but the physicality of well, the speech remember, is it's, gone? It's both. Like, is it? it? So yeah. his speech isn't yeah. quite on. Because Tyson... Yeah. I mean, he goes off on a tangent. He's fucking out there, but maybe yeah. he always was. He's Muhammad just, Ali yeah, saying like, that yeah. he's he goes. Oh, it's, him. Oh, well, yeah, he it's, was saying in, in his brain it's sharp, but he can't get the stuff. Yeah. Well, Richard yeah, Pryor is a classic man. Yeah, you see Richard that guy, Pryor. and his jokes when he mumbled them out, they were funny as fuck. So that's almost <laughs> worse because he was still Richard Pryor in that fucking mm. head, mm. and the body had just gone. That's awful, mm. man. Like all these people you see in wheelchairs, and, mm, and yeah. I've, I've worked in all that. They're all fucking there. Yeah. They're all in there. It's man. in there. Yeah, yeah it's, it's a It's yeah. fucking wild. Someone like it's Muhammad Ali. Imagine, and yeah. yeah, he was one of the greatest, well, greatest athletes ever. Yeah. He, he yeah. was, but also but the greatest personality. Yeah, like what a yeah. person, man. Yeah. Like just, oh yeah, he was a fucking legend. Like Mike Tyson always calls them giants. Like they yeah. were, they were oh, they giants were, yeah. of people. Yeah, they just yeah. outshine anything that sure. we could so imagine. A, a being. The thing where he's been interviewed and that, and at the end of the interview goes, "Now kids, I want to talk to kids out there. Make sure you brush your teeth." Yeah, yeah, shit yeah, like yeah. that. Yeah. Like, he's a fucking <laughs> hero, yeah, you know. Yeah, those, well, those personalities are gone from. Are, uh, maybe man. I don't know if it's commercialism. I mean, people can't be as flamboyant. I don't know. But I reckon uh, Pacquiao was like the 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 last closest thing to like a global iconic hero. Mm. He was a dirty motherfucker, but like Pacquiao, really? yep. Pacquiao was a womanizing, oh, yeah. gambling, <laughs> dirty dog, and then that's when he was fighting great. And yeah, then he, yeah. then he, then he got caught his like, his, yeah, yeah, his missus like always catching him cheating. And then he found God, and yeah, right. he humbled out. Uh, and and oh, now no. he's now he's boring, and he started losing fights. And that, anyway, he's come back. He's, we all know how great Manny Pacquiao is, but like the effect. I'm ter- talking about that worldwide, the impact like he can have on a nation. Like, oh shit! Yeah. A nation stops to watch his fights. Yeah, yeah. And, um, I was blown away when he actually so lost much. to um, Mayweather. Do you, you know, as a boxer, yeah. do you think that shoulder thing was legit? You know, or did injury? Mayweather just yeah. a better boxer? I think boxer? Mayweather was better at shutting him down. But Floyd's like the smartest man. Well, that's man a in. better boxer then, isn't yeah, it? Yeah, but I yeah. think at, um, if, you, if it happened when it was supposed to, maybe f- five years earlier, it would have been a different story. You reckon he would have had him? Yeah, yeah I, th- I don't know, man. Hard it's hard to, say, to go. It is hard to say, but it's hard to go against... Who he, Pacquiao was when he was f- when he fought De La Hoya in oh, that yeah, era, yeah. era, like that's when he was at his best. Floyd, brilliant as well, but just I don't know, <laughs> it's a hard. Floyd's one to a pick, numbers man, man kind of. Floyd though, is yeah. the best manager in boxing, and he's a super great defensive fighter. But you know what? Like if I'm if I was ranking like history, I would put Pacquiao ahead of Mayweather because Pacquiao took more risks. He Floyd fought many champions. He could get his list out and go through it and call himself pound for pound. But you got to look at circumstances behind everything. Okay. Like when Floyd fought Cotto, Pacquiao. Oh, shit, had he? Yeah, Pacquiao had already smashed him to bits. Pacquiao went from being like a fucking bantamweight or super bantam right up to through how many divisions up to maybe junior middle or something, yeah. he smashed Antonio Margarito to pieces. He sma- he just smashed the fuck out of everyone. <laughs> I love it, man. But he had a different fire back then. Man, he was an animal. He was just a f- he was just an animal. If you compare him, to he had like- that loose like he had that looseness to him still. Yeah. Whereas the like now he's more the like he's forty one or forty two. He has yeah. to be. Mm. You have to change and evolve, but. Like, um, he definitely got more conservative and become, like, he became more of a Christian version of himself in the ring, to be honest. Fucking really? Jesus he always rules everything, doesn't he? <laughs> he was so loose. Yeah, and yeah. he'd replicate, like, he was like a, I don't know, he was like a fighting rooster or some shit. Oh, like, I just, think Mayweather's fire just got, wor- like, more intense as he got older. Like, if you, you look at Pacquiao where he found God and... Got yeah, conservative, yeah. I think Mayweather His got, ego got just drove yeah, him yeah. even more. Yeah, you look at him like when he was He's pretty boy, whatever his thing was. Yeah, he yeah. was he was more reserved when he was younger, and then as yeah, he got yeah, yeah. older, it was like <clears throat> yeah. I am the man. Like yeah. he, he was funny because he was cocky. Unusual. When he started, he was cocky. Then he tried to do the humble thing for a while, and he put like this wasn't. I mean, thing. he could always fight, man. And there was t- different sides of Mayweather, the, the late stages of him. 
but we, all he was selling was his money yeah. mm. because he became... We've talked money. about that before, too, I think. A little he became yeah. just shallow, like... That was his whole shtick, though, to, yeah. to get is more he money sell? for the He's just playing a character, sell, but isn't I, he? But I feel yeah, like, like that's a, who, uh, he, who he is now. Rapper. I watched a... Do- uh, not a talk interview with um, Jim Carrey where he went... Remember oh, yeah. he went... He kind of slipped into that depressive state. And then he was turning up. People interesting. Tr- I yeah, people were trying to interview him, and yeah, he, he's yeah. like, "This isn't real. Yeah. I'm not real. I'm not yeah. a person." And he'd leave. But it's kind of true, though. He goes, yeah. yeah, he yeah. goes. Yeah. He's like, "I'm he playing realized, a character. Yeah. I, I couldn't even figure out who Jim Carrey was. Even yeah, Jim yeah. Carrey <laughs> is a character." Yeah. yeah. He goes, "We're all playing characters yeah. all the time. It's that, that's what we're talking about. That's what we're going for. That's what I'm going for now." But that's cool. That's I heard a great quote, and it's like everyone's an artist, and the. Everyone is an artist, and the first piece of art and the most important piece of art is their personality. Mm, we yeah. all create it. Yeah. We take people we admire and we copy them. Yeah. That's a little right. Bit of that person, a little bit of this, yeah. and this, you make yeah. you, you know. Do you know when yeah. I was writing songs back in the day, I could never write a song that You're I You're going to have to cut was... you one of your songs in now. No, fuck yeah, that. Yeah, man. <laughs> but, Cynicism. You know, you know what I mean? Like, I couldn't write a riff or whatever it was without feeling like a fucking... What's that word where Play, you're copying? Plagiar. Oh, yeah. You know, I'm just like, oh, that sounds too was, much like whatever. Yeah, yeah. yeah. It's it pretension. didn't matter what you, I did. But you do that as a father. It's like you mm. pretend to be a dad. I don't yeah. know how to be a fucking dad. No. Nah. You pretend, pretend, and suddenly you pretend enough, you fucking become one. Yeah, that's you know? right. Yeah. And every, life, that's what life's like, man. Yeah. You know, and it's not a bad thing. No. Yeah, and, and it takes years, well, ages to realise that with music because you think you're being pretentious and being an asshole and that, but fucking... Yes, you are, because you're playing a guitar and you want to get up on stage in front of people. And there's only, get over it, of course. You <laughs> there's only so <laughs> many notes. There's only so many notes on the guitar, and That's how right. many years of the fucking yeah. all of that has played. been the same with anything in life has been honest and yeah. been having integrity. We're all frauds. Yeah, we're all frauds. Everything's but already been done. But that's if you right. can be yeah. open about it, open then, yeah, then that's, no, that's where the key is. Like, too many people try to, especially now. Well, you don't want to be cool, man. The whole, yeah. oh, I'm so fucking cool, look yeah. at me. That's the, the main weird thing. That's why yeah. it fucks people off. And all yeah, that's yeah. Like one of the reasons everyone likes Hagler and stuff, because yeah. he was just a fucking honest cat. Yeah. That's the dude he was, yeah. you know. And even if the guy's not, I've met, I've worked with chefs that were fucking assholes. But I've really, res- I worked with this womanizer chef, and he used to have, shag all the waitresses and we worked at a bank in London and he would shag like the CEO of Barclays Bank and, she, <laughs> and not only would do it he'd get Polaroids this is before cameras and he'd say Matt he'd open up his fucking uh, you know, locker thing and it'd be like oh look 51 and there's him shagging this fucking you know the CEO of the whole building wow. but you know it's like they, <laughs> he sounds like a prick but he was a prick that knew he was a prick. He didn't yeah, pretend yeah. he wasn't a prick and he was an honest prick and I would have trusted him with my kids mm, you know yeah, okay. like he and it was the first guy I met where, that was actually not pretending not to be an arsehole. Yeah. He was, I'm an arsehole. This is what I fucking yeah. do, but I'm an honest arsehole. You know, and there's something, I kind of respected that. And I try to emulate him, but I couldn't be an honest arsehole because honestly, I'm not an arsehole. You know, yeah. so um, yeah. I, I was a dishonest arsehole. Yeah. It's, um, it took me a while to realise that. You know, I need It's to funny you say about the photo, actually. Yeah. So I come out of work, <laughs> fucking <laughs> Sunday morning, not and bad. I got this Instagram message. From this dude that added me ages ago, like I don't weird. know who yeah, yeah. it gets real weird. Don't you worry, <laughs> Kimbla Juggers. <club. laughs> and I'm like, I'm going. Hang on, what's this? So I open it up, and it's this couple, of, this girl, like naked. He sent like, and she's sitting on oh, his he lap. Sent it. Yeah, and I'm like, I look That's at weird. who it is, and he's a mind, a life coach, and all this shit. And I'm like, and it says like. Oi, oi, dude, or some shit. Like, oh, what the fuck? Hang on, what the fuck's this? <laughs> and I'm like, like right back, like, what the fuck is this? You know, like, what are you doing? About two hours later, he's like, uh, you know, it was super late, so I'm like, he was pissed. Yeah. Oh, no. So I'm thinking maybe it was just <laughs> like a yeah, wrong yeah. number. It was really happy or something? And thought he'd yeah. I don't know. I don't know, maybe, and I think he sent it to a few people. Anyway. Oh, no. Um. So, yeah, he writes back, like, sorry, dude, like, Fuck, you know, I'm pretty much like didn't hear from him again, and then I'm thinking, I'm like, fuck, that girl looks familiar, and she's another one of my friends that I don't know who was in there because uh-huh. I don't know. I put up a couple of nice photos, I get a couple of yeah, yeah, we, you know, like random, yeah. any yeah. whatever. So I'm like, <laughs> did they hook up? Okay, or something? Uh, I, no, nothing no. to do with me. <laughs> so they've met anyway. I write her a message and just say like. 
did you go out on the weekend, blah, blah, blah. Like, <laughs> and, her. like, it turns out it was that girl. Wow. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> she's a mum. Nothing wrong with that. Like, she's yeah, blowing off a bit of steam and that. But <laughs> she couldn't see, like, what the problem was. Like, yeah. which kind of was like... That he sent you the photo? Yeah, I'm like, oh, wow. don't you see what the issue is here? Like, so this had isn't good. So face on it. Half a face. Okay, yeah. Enough to know that it was her. Yeah, like, enough of her ass cheek to judge against the other <laughs> you know, bloody like, display. Do you think pictures. society's changing where maybe what used to be considered pornography I'm thinking is, is it maybe is. it's just not a big deal? You want to see yeah. my cock? Yeah, my cock. And it was really tacky. It wasn't like... No, it's It was not good. just gross. Yeah. I was looking at it like going, this yeah, is... Yeah, I think the same people were always going to be okay with it and then... Uh, uh, do you know what it made me think? Like, people have different levels of what's oh, okay. Yeah, oh, and yeah, I, I, I didn't know that that was okay. Yeah, right. You know, like, to send strangers. I, I don't think that's I don't okay. Think it's it's okay. Okay. No, it's not okay. <laughs> it's, no. You Imagine, could almost go to have, get in ship yeah, for something like yeah, that. I'm like, Lucky she's cool with it, which yeah, is like, really yeah, strange. Right. Imagine if I just uh, decided to share it. Old life coach sending yeah. fucking Yeah, like, what sort of a fucking you, life coach is that? Yeah. Yeah. So here's what clients. you do. <laughs> You've got to be comfortable with yourself. I'm yeah. Send this to 50 yeah. blokes. Yeah. But even the idea of doing that, that's the, you know. Who you're not having about, that good a time if yeah, you're fucking all worried about that. Yeah, you're obviously yeah. not in the zone. You're not Jesus. with the flow, man. That's the whole you point know. of it. It's the whole point of it is to become an animal and forget about all that shit. It's one time uh, in our fucking compressed you life where you anything. can become Fuck something yeah. else, you know? Yeah, it was very strange, eh? I'm like... Yeah, it's yeah. Well, that's the thing with it. Sunday. Yeah, and I just come out of work, so I'm tired and yeah. I'm grumpy and that. I don't need this right no. now. No. <laughs> don't need this naked At girl. least have a hot chick there. Like, <laughs> She's geez. not hot? Nah, no. not really. Unless she's watching us, you're a little bit hot. Yeah, you know, <laughs> she's one of the right. three girls that actually yeah, watched yeah, that's it. Right. <laughs> she she was the down in the last one. <laughs> 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 yeah. Yeah. <laughs> she is now. Yeah. <laughs> I can probably get some hate mail now. Yeah, how do we get on to that? I don't oh, know. Fuck no. yeah. Oh, you you had a chef mate. Right, that's oh, taking, oh yeah, Matt. Taking gonna, nudes. Yeah, oh, his name's Matt now. Matt, <laughs> no, his name was Matt. Yeah, yeah he took me to my Matt. first football game: Tottenham Hotspur versus Sheffield oh, Wednesday or something. Yeah, he was a really cool cat, man. Yeah, he was, it was it was a right. It was, yeah, it was yeah a real quandary. Um, because I've never met anyone like that, and what's I really respect quandary, him now. man. Uh, conundrum. Well, you're not. He confused me. Yeah. you know, like. Uh, yeah. Uh, maybe coming from down here, especially, you know, New- growing up in New Zealand and coming to Australia, men are men and they're staunch and they don't, I don't know, uh, it's all about showing how legit you are and all yeah, that. And he yeah. was happy to show how unlegit he was. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and I was like, fuck, is it? And, but I haven't said that. He was an interesting cat. And the older you get in life, the more you just want to meet interesting people. You don't want to meet yeah. assholes, but you want, when I meet friends I want or people, I j- value I ju- sorry to be honest. I judge them on what they can bring to my life. Yeah, and if they're yeah. interesting and they go, even if they're lies, yeah. I just want yeah. good stories, man. I think you need that though. <laughs> people uh, don't judge enough. No, you kind of have to. But, but then, if you're you in Wollongong, you can judge around. your way out of a lot of fucking, a lot of friends, man. Yeah. <laughs> Look, I don't know, you but need, it's true. You, you do. Be, you need you need people in your circle that are gonna bring something. Well, it's like you with, with your dirt bike. You know, if you, like, here with my music, if you want to be a good musician, you hang out with fucking good musicians. Yeah. In fact, you hang out with better musicians than yeah. you are. If you want to be a good dirt bike rider, you've got to hang out with people that are better at what you mm. do than, and it just rubs off. If yeah, you're going to be does. in that crew, you've got to get your shit together. That's you know? right. And, um, mm. and that's what you're, you're yeah. always trying to find, isn't it? You know, you're trying to find 100%. interesting people to hang out with. Yeah. Um, that's how you grow. Yeah, well, I think we need a wee break. I need a piss. Yeah. <laughs> Three, two, one. Hey! All right, we're back I'm drinking this Sapporo's. Oh well, if we're going, we're going. Went to Japan. We try and travel around. Something about the Japanese, they can brew a good beer. You know, I they think can't drink it, the shit though. I don't know, man. Those Japanese business guys. Um, oh, you, I've never been I've in been Japan. There. And they get wasted pretty easily. They easy. get fucked up. Yeah, so right. they won't talk to you. They won't look at you in the broad daylight. Yeah. They'll look straight past you. Yeah. But get like four beers into them and they're your fucking best mate. Yeah, right. <laughs> oh, that's nice. They're yeah. all friendly and like shit. Anyone, though, yeah, but they're snakes. Oh, my God. We're going to lose all our Japanese subscribers. Oh, man. Oh, <laughs> no. Not, not from my opinion. Let me finish. So... 
I met this Brazilian chick that had been living there about He's eight years. got a lot of stories about Brazil. Yeah, there is. Anyway, they're we're, Brazilian. We're not going to generalise here, of course. Well, they do jiu-jitsu. Anyway. <laughs> jiu-jitsu. <laughs> she's like, that. <laughs> she, this is how she put it. She, I asked her about being living there for so long and that. And she she's spoke like, Japanese? Yeah, she did. She's like, well, let me just say, Pearl Harbor is very much how they do things. Okay. Yeah. They blow the fuck out of you. Yeah. They, no, they go, no, we won't, you know, we won't. Yeah, yeah. yeah everything's cool. Yeah, yeah. 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 But every though Pearl penis. Harbor, he, they were supposed to declare war about half an hour before it happened. It was all to plan. But the Japanese diplomat in New York or whatever Be fucked Tojo. it up. Yeah, Tojo. Because Tojo, um, he went to university in the States. And um, and he knew what so he had to do like, if you fucking pulled a Swifty mm. on them, they'd get really fucked off, and they did. Awoken the sw- sleeping giant. Yeah, or yeah, sweeping. he didn't want to do that. So the It would have been sweeping. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so the diplomat was supposed to go declare war on Den Pearl Harbor. It would have mm. happened like, straight away and all that, but he fucked the timing up. Um, but then again, he might have fucked it up because Roosevelt needed Pearl Harbor. Yeah. Because the Yanks wanted to get into World War II anyway. You know? Yeah, the but, Japanese. We do love their anime. Oh man, I'll tell you what, hey, um, if you're feeling stressed out and shit, there's a show I've been watching. I'm fucking not going to cry all oh, the time. We about this the, well, the, the Midnight Diner? Yeah. yeah, about, yeah. Oh, I've already spoken about yeah, that. Last fucking, fucking week. That was shit. after 12 beers. That was, yeah, I was pretty wasted. Oh, anyway, yeah. but have you checked it out? You no, I haven't. I forgot out, about yeah. it, to be honest. Check out the Midnight Diner. Hey, no, midnight, yeah. Got some poor I have to give a shout out to, I was at an antique shop in Midagong. And I found this, I thought I'd buy this for a laugh, the art of the <laughs> Japanese bamboo flute. And I thought, oh, this would be a joke, you know, mellow out the this is that. It's fucking wild shit, yeah. man. <laughs> they bang on these drums, they play some flute, and then they all start screaming. <laughs> like this is, it's like wow. fucking death metal with Japanese yeah, right. flutes, man. It's fucking wild. <laughs> we'll have to put up a sample. Yeah. We'll to, oh, yeah. yeah, I was really stoked. So, um, yeah, go Japan. They're not uh, all Pearl Harbor kind of cats. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> they do blow a good flute. They do blow a good flute. If yeah, it's interesting you say that because when the, um, when we're in China, like it's a similar type of feel on the streets. Mm. But then we we went out. I went there for a boxing trip, obviously, and then we, we went. Um, my brother and um, Emma met met us over there after. And we went and partied one night and we ended up, we didn't, you know, there's not much communication going on, but we ended up at this like underground place a that looked, seemed like a ho- hospital, but it kind of ventured off into all these little rooms and the people were having a Christmas party. I think it was um, the Chinese, Chinese New Year. It might've been Chinese New Year. Yeah, it was in January. Like yeah, January. yeah, it was Chinese New Year. Yeah, okay. think, yeah. yeah so um, they're having like a work, a work get up and they pulled us in the room and they're fucking nice as pie. Yeah, and we just partied all night with them. They loved us. Yeah, till their bosses would come and they kicked us out yeah, on our yeah. way. But like it was fucking, it was a pretty wild night. But was that in Beijing from, or? It was in Beijing. Yeah, yeah. yeah. It was, so it was just one of those. Right? Oh yeah, it's filthy. Ugh. I had the black lung from that. <laughs> <laughs> oh, <shit>. Literally, <laughs> I had a cough. Yeah. I'm yeah. telling you, I had a Smog. cough for maybe six weeks after. Were you running from doing track? Running in yeah, that? yeah, outside, and it was Fuck snowing that. and shit at the time. And the the smog the first day we got there was horrendous. Mm. And then it kind of got better, so I'm glad we weren't running like when, how it was. I couldn't see probably 50 meters in front of us the first day. Yeah, it was horrendous. But from um, the smog, yeah, yeah, it's terrible over there. Man. But then you go into the mountains like Xi'an. We went to the Terracotta Warriors. Oh yeah, yeah. beautiful there. Like, is that because Beijing's in a bit of a bowl, surrounded by? Because there's so many fucking mountains. people. There's a there. lot of people. Don't they were all industry. like bikes or something? Oh, it's all industry, isn't it? Yeah. Well, that's how the that's what happened. How China got it? Because the Yanks, how America lost the economic war is because all the American companies thought, "Fuck, we can make more money in China." And California, all that started putting uh, caveats: you can't dump, dump acid in the fucking river, okay? And we don't want to kill too many kids. And they said, "Fuck that, we're going to China." Yeah. And China, we can said, do it there. You can do whatever you want here, man. Just fucking come over. Yeah. But what the Yanks didn't realize is the Chinese wanted them to come over so they could steal all the fucking patents and shit mm. like that. Mm. Now they've done that. China's starting to actually implement. Uh, their own rules and stuff. They, China's fucking booming on the solar energy and shit. They're going to clean up now. They've, they've been booming for a long time. That yeah, but it was all on car, um, mm. 
you know, on dirty industry. Now yeah. they want to go to clean industry because they just have to because fucking everyone's dying of cancer. Mm-hmm. Cancer is cancer. Yeah, cancer. <laughs> is that like a <laughs> shitty cancer? I died of cancer a few times. <laughs> you don't want that one. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I was thinking of, um, I was eating some cheese today and I, I thought fucking cheese without... Um, Cheese without, I like, I like <laughs> quince paste, quince paste. And I thought, fuck, you got a quince paste. And I thought, I've got a kumquat thing up there. And I thought, maybe I can make some kumquat paste. And I thought, I could sell it. I'll call it cum paste. <laughs> People buy by the fucking bucket load. Got a cum paste, man? Yeah, we'll plug that. Will, will his Instagram girl my life, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> It's like a good an, name uh, for a band or something, paste. isn't it? You know, come paste. Yeah. <laughs> yes, come. yeah. <laughs> yeah Have well. you done much traveling with no. your no? No. Tamworth, just Tamworth, booming with a lot, lot of country towns and mm. um, like traveled Australia, yeah, like mm. from top to bottom. I haven't really been over west or anything, but yeah. Not many um, people have. No, nah, it's a fucking long way. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Thinking um, of doing that drive, eh? The, yeah, well, if you're going to do that, hey, we could do a road trip out. The, evidently, the world's biggest golf course is on another ball plains, man. It's like a thousand miles or some shit. <laughs> and you start at one shot, fucking one place, and you whack it, get in the hole, and then the next hole is fucking a hundred miles. Yeah, yeah, fucking boom. Yeah, Who likes golf having, though. It's um, well, well, there's no golf, golf on course. The it's like, you know, it's just a thing to do. Like. Play golf on his honeymoon. Did no, you? on the on the wedding on, on day. the wedding day. Wedding day. Oh Shit. my god! This is my um, second game Saturday. I'm going in a family Ambrose. It's not my family. It's my friends. Um, so I'm hitting in with I think one of the brothers. Whereabouts? Um, the links. So oh. it's oh, kind yeah. of probably pretty difficult considering I never play. Mm. I went down the other day and hit like 20 balls into the lake. Did you? And at least five of them were pretty straight. They actually went into the lake. <laughs> yeah, five of them. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> made the lake. So, I, I don't remember mind golf. It's hot. It I gives like me it, the yeah. shit. And yeah. I like never get out to play it. But when I do, I quite enjoy it. I love the golf. Oh, the driving range is fun, yeah. man. Just smack those. Yeah. Yeah. And every now and then you get one, you're like, that's what golf's about. Yeah. You know? Oh, yeah, who's that? Who's that guest from last yeah. week? <laughs> What's he doing back? Oh, he's We'd give you a mic, but we fucking don't have the any. Line mic. Pete, yeah. Pete the Beast, he's back in the house. Pete the Beast, <laughs> in full well, beast mode. Might as well settle up inside for half his... Yeah. Look at him. Pulls yeah. him out for a lift <laughs> go and, and see leaves him. Daughter. She's go and talk to your daughter. <laughs> <laughs> Jesus <laughs> Christ. Look at the <laughs> shelf on your way out. <laughs> fall over, you <laughs> Oh, yeah, be careful out there. Sorry, it's a bit dark. Oh, shit. Oh, my God. It was getting so hectic here at Smack Panda Studios. Yeah, we can yeah, bloody blow-ins. Yeah, man. Yeah. Blowing guests. That's how, yeah. that's how in demand Streakers. we are. We couldn't even get one to come on two weeks ago. <laughs> I know. We're flooded with him. We got another yeah. one coming Sunday. I hope we get that, that one back, actually. Is she, uh, can we get her back? I can ask her. Yeah, ask her. Well, uh, sounds like an interesting Well, she guess. might have been the one thumb down. She, she might have yeah, been. Yeah, she could have. Oh, did, actually, third sure. episode, we did say. We paid her out a little bit. We didn't Shit. really. We just said. No, we didn't. We didn't full at all. Out. We just jokingly said no, something about not having to pay people out. We didn't ever mention her name. We no, we, we love everyone. Here. We do. Yeah, yeah, we do. It's all oh. great. Yeah. <laughs> Especially after a few beers. <laughs> These guys are drinking way more than me, as you can see. <laughs> oh. head, can see. <laughs> Mr. Sensor, let's go back to episode four. Yeah. 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 <laughs> pretty much the lucky universe. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> Fucking hell. Yeah. Think of that. that I don't know. Con- like, conspiracy has now become... It's just a, if, if someone says something you don't like, conspiracy theory, or they're a fucking a Trumpite, you know, like the whole thing is just because It's bullshit. called an idea. Yeah, yeah, it's, it's, all, it's okay yeah. to have a different idea about shit. And all you need to do is knuckle down to the nuts and bolts. Yeah. You know, what are you actually thinking? Like, mm. I haven't actually looked into the flat earth because I think it's a load of bullshit, but I would like to see their thinking. Like, well, how the fuck are they thinking Well, that? I've like, got a guy. I don't know. If they <laughs> I've are. got a guy who yeah. loves a conspiracy theory on trying to get on. Oh, yeah, yeah. As long as they can yeah. take a joke. And he's, no, yeah, but he's we well, the, I'll take the piss, well rehearsed yeah. of it too. Oh, fucking bring him on, man. Yeah. Oh, but he, well. he can see both ways, which yeah, is yeah, good, yeah. but. Alan well, because sometimes there are conspiracies. <laughs> fucking Jeffrey Epstein was raping kids and yeah. fucking yeah. getting rich people yeah. to do it. And they were all fucking raping kids. Yeah, now they're that's just right. covering And now everyone up. doesn't give a fuck yeah. about it, you know, yeah. but it actually happened. Yeah. Uh, and that's not the only one. That does happen. Yeah. You know, that shit happened. And it's all very hush. It's all quiet on the Western Front. 
Um, I mean, you had a motherfucker in 19... When was the Second World War? 1940... 39 to 45. I mean, he convinced... Certain amount of people that well, fucking um, Himmler said it best. He said, um, "Strike fear into a large group of people, and you can make them do whatever you want." Yeah, fear's a driving mm. force. Eh? You see it now with this fucking COVID yeah. shit. Yeah, I think love's a more powerful force. Just takes def- a bit longer. Yeah, you know, yeah. there's a classic one. That, um, there's a book on Romania. I was like, who was it put out by? I think it might have been put out by Banksy, Banksy actually. You know, a Banksy book. And he dedicated it to this one old man in Romania. And it was like late 80s. And Ceausescu was the dictator there. And fucking people up there looked at him funny and all that type of shit. Normal shit. Um, he was having another one of his rallies where they force 100,000 people into a thing. And he'd stand there and fucking give a shit. And one old guy was fucking about to die anyway. And, it, and everyone's shouting, oh, yeah, we love you and all that. And they all went quiet and he's about to speak. He goes, fuck you. <laughs> <laughs> and, he, and he was fucking giving it to Ceausescu. <laughs> and what happened is everyone around him said, fuck, he's going to get killed. And they all tried to spread out. And they started pushing outwards. And it started a, a, <laughs> started a fucking thing. And uh, it was like a riot was happening to get away from this old cunt saying, fuck you. <laughs> and then what happened is the security guard came up to Ceausescu and didn't cover the mic. And he said, they're getting in. They're coming yeah. like this because he thought they were coming for him. And that was on live TV in Romania. Fucking ah, three days later, shit. his head was on a fucking spike, man. Ah. Like, that's all it took wow. was one old man to say, fuck you, and the whole thing was over. Went to shit. Be the old man. Yeah, you know, that's all it takes. So, yeah. you know, it's a fucking amazing story. Mm. Yeah. And that no one was following this old cunt. They all thought he was crazy. <laughs> <laughs> Trying to get away from him. <laughs> yeah, that's right. Yeah. But, yeah. Yeah, yeah, that's right. Have you seen that? There's a thing about leadership, and it's a uh, it's an old YouTube clip. We'll be able to find it, and it's talking about true leadership. And it's got one guy, and there's a dance party at a concert, fucking on a grassy knoll, and bam, you know, I think it's doof doof. DJ's going <laughs> off. This guy's just dancing, fucking going off, and everyone's looking at him like they're all laying down on the grass. This guy's an idiot. Then one guy gets up and runs over to the dude, and the guy hugs him, and they both start dancing, and that's it, man. Next Everyone thing you know, there's up. a fucking thousand people up. Yeah. So it's saying. It's not the the first person. It's not the person doing it that matters. It's the it's, it's the follower. follower yeah. It's the first, first follower, follower that yeah. becomes the actual instigator for a movement. You know, How, what's that I got to do like with leadership that's, though? That's well, me on the dance. Well, but that's all leadership is though. What, like, what is? <laughs> what is you, you have to see Mark cut a rug for about <laughs> two and a half hours straight without a drink. Uh, I got some endurance on the deep. Side. <laughs> <laughs> he does. <laughs> no drugs. Either. No. No one believes. Nothing. It. No yeah. drugs. Just beers. What are you doing, brother? Dancing? dancing, man. Oh, weird. I'm a what? dancer from oh, way really back. Yeah, I'm no good, but I love it. Oh, I love it. Haley won't fucking. We have to dance, man. Haley doesn't fucking dance. Oh, I'll man. take her out. Yeah, it's a Williams thing. Yeah, it's shit. <laughs> well, I remember because I grew up in Metla, fucking playing Metallica and all that shit. That was my thing. And yeah. I grew up in the late nineties. Luckily, big day out comes. We're waiting for ministry and these metal bands come on, and it's fucking. And it's daytime, it's all shit. And then we see this guy coming on keyboards, and we're thinking, oh, fuck, this is going to be shit. And then, you know, and this do 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 starts, and we're like, oh, whatever. But we're there because we're waiting for the next band. And then this fucking black guy comes out in this kilt with fucking green cat's eyes. He goes, wait for the bass, Auckland. And we're like, what the fuck? And wait for the bass. And he's got this fucking eight pack, and he looks like fucking, you know, Schwarzenegger, but he's black. <laughs> and then the bass kicks in. It was fucking Prodigy. And they kicked oh, him with well, smack uh, my bitch up. Well. And the fucking bass is that big. People got blown from the speakers. Like, boom, like this. And it's the <laughs> biggest mosh pit I've ever been in my fucking life. And from that day on forward, I was a dancer. Yeah. I'm like, fucking, this it's rocks, sick, man. man. I love dancing. Or a dancer. I can so, get it. Yeah. Yeah. It so dancing. Dancing. Yeah. Dancer. Yeah. Dancer. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, I love it, man. Fucking good stuff. I, just, I don't know. To me, it's like because um, I just don't give a fuck. I just dance yeah. to dance. It's almost like being high. Yeah. Like, oh, just, it is, man. It's I just tried, don't know. Just let it, let it go. I don't know. I the hard thing is finding a decent. <laughs> <laughs> it get real weird, but <laughs> and, um, uh, I love it. it. I don't give a fuck. No, I man. like it. I enjoy it. That's all that matters. Yeah. Yeah. Fuck people. That's what a night out is to me, is dancing. But you can't do that now. How the fuck do you do that now? And the DJs fucking the suck. The DJs yeah. suck fucking balls. They suck, man. You know? man. I just can't wait till I'm 40 and I'm taking the girls to Tomorrowland. They'll be 18. I, I don't know the math. What's Tomorrowland? <laughs> I might be a little bit older. You know that massive fucking music festival in... Um, isn't it in Belgium? Yeah. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. the huge one. Yeah. And when I, I already insane. told him, when I'm like 40 or 42, yeah. however old I am when they're 18... 
I'm t- oh, they'll, oh, they'll be, I'll be old enough, maybe 45. I'm, I'm taking They'll be taking you. Eight. You won't be able to walk. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> I'll still be able to dance. It's fucking great. Well, Mara's going to be 18 in two years. That'd be so That's much fun. Then. I meant to take it to Japan. Uh, it's funny. I said, look, I want to I want to spend a holiday away with her, you know, before she gets too old and doesn't want to hang out with me. And, and she, oh, where do you want to go? Japan. Okay. So we went down to the local, um, it was January or February, went down to the local thing to book the Japan flights. And luckily, well, the lady said, look, you know, fucking COVID's hitting. It's yeah. probably not the best time to fucking do it. And I said, how much will it cost anyway? She was like, oh, all up, 15 grand. I'm like, 15 fucking grand. Fuck. Lucky I didn't have the money. Don't anyway. go through them. Yeah. They're fucking thieves. Yeah, yeah. Well, that, well they're going to make money, don't they? They do. Is that, you reckon that's it? Yeah. yeah. How much book did it, it cost all yourself. You? Yeah, book it all yourself. Yeah. Ah, I went for one of my mates 30th for like a week and a half or something. Yeah. And we just travel around Tokyo and that. Went to Mount Fuji, but didn't cost yeah. that much. Mm. Maybe five grand? Yeah. Six grand, maybe? I think yeah. I, went, I We went drank to, Cuba oh, for like six six weeks. It only cost like, cost a bit, maybe like. Cuba would have been more expensive to get to, but wouldn't yeah. it? Yeah. Then it's when you're there, to, it's cool. Once it's there, it's cheaper. Because yeah. yeah. you can't fly through the States, say. So you've got no, to circumvent the States. No, I had to fly um, to LA, LA to Atlanta, maybe. And like, mm. Atlanta to Cancun. <laughs> Cancun to Panama, Panama to Havana. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Cuba would be mission, cool man, as fuck. That is a cool place. Yeah. But once you get there, it's cheap. It's just mm. getting there was. Yeah. Fuck yeah. It's one. The, actually, I want to go to Cuba before the Yanks fuck it. I don't think they'll ever be able to fuck it. I don't think they'll get there. Right? It seemed yeah. like it was progressing, and now it feels like I don't. I haven't heard nothing about it's like it. Lost. So I feel like it stopped again. Well, because like you isolate any country, they forget about it. Yeah. Yeah, like the fucking yeah. like a ship. Can't go to the United States if it goes to Cuba for six months or something. So the Yanks have cut it off for 60 years yeah, now. Right. Well, leave the poor fuckers alone. Yeah, Just let yeah. them do their <laughs> thing, you know, man. You, you go know? to a cafe yeah. to get food. They eat their main like dishes like this fucking spaghetti noodles with cabanossi, with tomato, like ketchup, like sauce, tomato sauce, not like a pasta sauce. Mm. It's fucking shit. It's, yeah. mm. it's shit because... It's shit, but it's that's mad. No good, it's man. So, you, you, like, we were... We had some mad nights out over there. We went over, I went over for boxing. There was another Aussie guy there, um, Zach Dunn. He, he's a really good. He's a good pro now. He's had a good career, but he was living over there just to. I think he was maybe trying out for the Olympics at the time. And um, he'd been there for like eight months. So I went over and he organised accommodation, and so we trained together at the national like youth facility, and then they went away for the last two weeks that I was there. So we just got to fucking. We just hung out and party, man. Mm. It was fucking pretty That's sick. Primo, in Havana, like you're in oh, these old 1950s old mansions cars, yeah. um, that have been turned into clubs. Like, it was fucking yeah, everyone's fit as fuck there as well, aren't but, they? You know, they're all like, the animals by the the fucking people that come out of there. Yo, Romero. Yeah, That's what I picture. They, like. I don't know. Everyone just, I don't know. It's you feel, that, you feel kind of like a tough guy over there because no one was fucking any trouble. Yeah. So like, you, like you know, here you bump into mm. someone, someone's got something to say. Yeah. Usually, but hey, it's nothing that. happens. Or yeah. you could just dance. You, you're seeing like you're on the edge of the country in a ma- mansion in a backyard. The pool's there. You dance and there's a stage here with the DJ with the waves breaking over the fucking, fucking awesome. rocks. Yeah. You're in this like 1950s fucking. Playboy it's house. still in the 1950s, though, it's, isn't it? Hasn't yeah, it's really, just yeah, like yeah. being in a time warp. It's a blowout, man. Yeah. Cool ass music going, like everyone can dance. Do you think, yeah. like, the, the not wanting to fight at the drop of a hat comes from actually being able to, you know, like growing up fighting? Because I know Thailand's kind of similar because they're taught from a young age Muay it's, Thai. It's probably less and they're just so ego, chilled. Man. They're like, they don't give a. F- it's a different way of life, but isn't yeah. it? Like, it's a more. It's probably more community based to survive. Yeah, Cuba, when you look into yeah. politics of Cuba, it's a fucking interest. Every every single adult is in a, a trade union of some sort. When they actually get into the nitty gritty of the, the democracy they have there, it's a fucking wild place, man. Mm. You know, like that that little island that could, you know, because mm. yeah. when the Soviet Union was around, they used to sell their sugar to Soviet Union. That's how they got their income and shit. But then when Russia went down in the nineties, man. They had no nothing. fucking income. Yeah. They had nothing. Like, if Australia... If we got cut off from the fucking uh, world, we'd starve. Mm. They, they motherfuckers were they like... They fucking almost starved, man, they but they came through it. cardboard. One yeah. of the guys... He's actually lives in Australia now. He's one of the matchmakers down in Melbourne or oh, something. Yeah, he, yeah, yeah. I think he manages that. 
but he um I think he was telling me the story like in that period where they were um put in like shredded cardboard yeah, into, yeah. as a filler into their food so the kids yeah. would like yeah. yeah it's called the special so they're vegans it's called the special yeah. period <laughs> yeah and what yeah, they did is, with, yeah. with um in Havana like any you had a rooftop you had to grow food like they forced well, not forced like we were going to starve motherfuckers yeah. so fucking we're going to have to feed yeah, ourselves I remember that yeah. and they fucking did I they fed themselves that. man like it's an incredible little place and if you compare it to like let's say okay it's a communist country right but you compare it to a really a very comparable island Haiti do you mm. rather live in fucking Haiti or Cuba mm. I think 100% of the world would rather live in Cuba man yeah. you know like fucking they've done well they've got more doctors per capita than anywhere else in the world yeah. they've got the mm. highest degree people in the world they've got the longest lived people in the world more, hun- more hundred year olds in Cuba than anywhere else in the world you know so it's a, uh, and they got no GDP. They have no fucking money. So it's and women have a really high status. And so, so women, just women, women, oh, no. women. Yeah, no fucking women. women. He loves them. Oh, oh, oh man, no. oh, it's all over. Not my beers. I'm gonna Quick have to. Cut it. It's all lies. Don't lie. bring it's it fucking up. Lies. The electric universe, whatever you do. But right, <laughs> now, this I'd love to go there. Like, oh, it's a great. Place. But I understand it's going to be really harsh. But you got to understand mm. why it's harsh because mm. they got a fucking embargo. Yeah, I just don't understand if it doesn't work. Okay, the socialism shit won't work. Well, fucking open up, let them have it. Yeah, and let it fall apart and say fuck. See, guys, you know. Well, one thing you don't see in Havana is homeless people, eh? Because everyone would just stay with everyone else, I guess. Well, because they all get a guaranteed house. True. That's New York, you go to New York, fucking be education. stepping over every motherfucker. Yeah, you know? education. Same in, um, Education's free. Yeah. Well, it's not free. You pay for it through, you know, like, it's like we're saying we've got free like health care. We don't because yeah, we all pay. Tax, out. Yeah. Everyone pays into a pool and then that's enough to, to give you a market share to fucking get cheap health care. You know, like it's not yeah. free. Yeah. And the same as over there. Yeah. I just know. I just think... The whole world's now put its, all its egg in one basket. And there's a couple of places, like Cuba's a place where they're trying a different little basket. Fucking let them go for oh, it. That's sick. Yeah. You know, and if it works, it works. Hey, maybe we yeah. want to try that. But it's an it experiment. Like, it's a pl- but you know what it you is? Know? It's a place to experience before you fucking die, for sure. Oh, fuck yeah. It's a different. It's just so different. Yeah. That's yeah. Awesome. There's a beauty. No, Nothing, no man. Not really. No, nah, well, they got... Yeah, well, because <clears> there's an embargo, man, and the whole world's done on They're trade. in Mongolia. Yeah, they got, so. they got 1950s. Like nineteen forties mm. Chevrolets going around with fucking who knows what sort of motors. So they all like little, that, yeah. that's hands on life. <laughs> <laughs> they gotta fix the shit themselves. Yeah. Kept these it's like the Bush going. mechanics, remember? Yeah, that it's just Bush yeah, it literally is, I've yeah. seen a uh, I saw a doco on that was a, great. On a lady over there that makes guitar strings, man. She gets old engines and that mounts them down and fucking makes them into guitar strings. Are they, they, well, they can't even get guitar yeah. strings yeah. in the Are they flamenco? Country. Oh, there? these were electric ones, yeah, oh, yeah. Okay. But I think they're probably using cat gut and shit for for that, you yeah. know? Well, so you look at, a... like, the... you got boxers at the youth, youth level that can win world championships at any point in time, fucking boxing in bare feet, running. Mm. Like, mm. we're out running in the dark. These kids are running in fucking bare feet for six mm. or eight Ks. Man, I saw a kid drop a fucking 20 kilo weight plate on his foot from up here, pressing it. He whinge and the coach is like, just fucking get out the way. Wow. Like, basically, get off the line and stop fucking whinging. Yeah. The kids drop this old ass iron <laughs> fucking weight wow. straight on his foot. I'm just <laughs> like, oh, shit. You ever, oh, you ever see a lip away? The fucking, it's um, head butts, elbows, whatever. It's a... No, no, what's that? I feel like I've heard that word before. Dude, there's a there's a champion that's been on he was on Rogan, I think. I can't remember if it's Laos, but the kids there are the same. They've got no shoes. Mm. They're just like punching fucking trees and it'd be like um Thailand, it'd be like that, I guess. Worse. Yeah, they got le- way less money. No one goes there. Yeah. I think just... Th- I think Cuba's a bit different though. I saw a uh, a doco on the um, London, Royal London Ballet. They went to Cuba. You know, mm. the number one sport isn't baseball. It's fucking Base- ballet, man. Ballet, yeah. Well, like, I thought it would, ballet, would be baseball. Baseball and boxing. Yeah. So, yeah. In culture. Cuba. What about wrestling would so be So they're huge, poor yeah, people, but they... Um, Still not like that. It's true. Okay. They have fucking culture. Yeah. And, the, and the head dude from the, um, the Royal Ballet said, oh, I hear they like ballet. It was bullshit. And he jumps in a taxi and he asks the guys about who's the best ballet dancer. And it's a Cuban guy. They all fucking know about ballet. And wow. then when the, when the London um, 
Like they, they played in Havana and it cost like 10 cents to play or something to get a ticket. And then they put up movie screens outside and there's thousands of people watching the fucking ballet. Mm. How many people watch the ballet over here? Yeah. Fucking no one. You know, it's like Soviet it's, influence. It's I an think. elite. Well, I just think it's that culture itself mm. is, yeah. is the, like the ballet's fucking good. When you watch yeah. it, it's a fucking good thing. Like it's extreme sports. You know, yeah. these guys are fucking amazing. Discipline, yeah. Discipline and like I, I just think that these things mm. are. I, and the West are just for the elites, you know, the yeah. subjects for the elites, it's hoity-toity. It doesn't fucking have to be, man. Originally, they weren't. Like, Shakespeare was for the common person, and but somehow it got stolen by the by a different class, you mm-hmm. know, whereas in Cuba, it's, it's, it's still for the people, yeah. you know? Like, and so these these things that make your life better don't have to cost money. Yeah. You know, like this... Yeah. I, I think there's a lesson to be learned from there, mate, yeah. you know? And our culture definitely isn't getting better. Nah, it's man, fucking it's getting, getting worse, worse man. Yeah. You know, something's going wrong with our culture. Yeah. Watch fucking TV. Holy shit, yeah. man. Idol. <laughs> <laughs> well, and even Idol's probably one of the better ones because at least someone is singing, you know? Like, are they really, but? Are they really? <laughs> <laughs> uh, I don't know. I don't know about that. I'll give them a high horse. I better shut up. But I really dig Cuba. I've been a lot of. Ah, a cool I've never place, been, yeah. you know. And I wonder if I go whether I will still have such a, a view on it. Maybe I won't, you know. But I, I think, think I think you would. I yeah. think there in Mongolia, are two of the places I want to see. Mongolia yeah. because they still do the sheep herding across the plains with eagle wolves. Yeah, yeah. yeah. These, these fucking eagles that fuck up wolves. Yeah. That try yeah. and eat the sheep. Yeah. So they're like horseback for weeks. Crossing these plains with they do that in Kazakhstan, don't they? Yeah, it was, it was kind of similar. Well, we were talking earlier off off camera about um the the commons, how you know there used to be a common space and everyone would feed their sheep and that on. No one would take too much because everyone would lose out. There'd be no fucking grass, but everyone could have a few sheep and it would work out. It's called the commons. And Mongolia has, for thousands of years, has been a commons until recently. They've turned capitalists, and those sheep farmers are now fucking getting too many sheep, and they're killing off the grasslands, and and all the sheep are fucking dying and shit like that. Too greedy. Too well. That's because they had one system. Now they moved to a different system, which mm. is fuck you. I'll take it all, and it doesn't work in that system. Yeah. You know. Um, so and also they got shitloads of minerals over there, and they're fucking mining the fuck out of Mongolia now. So yeah, you want to go right. soon before all that. Yeah. That old shit goes, eh, you know? Yeah. Yeah, I think... Let's go to Mongolia, man. Smack panda. Fuck the yeah. Fuck, we might even be able to smack a panda over We're there. Going fuck, we probably would. We'd we go to could, China, it would be sweet. Yeah, or we could buy some smack. <laughs> <laughs> might have to go to India. <laughs> smack <laughs> India. What, do you yes, buy yeah. India, smack in India? Yeah, it's like the trade route of heroin. Oh, yeah. Yeah, 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 oh, yeah. The but, you know that old yeah, the dude I'm trying to get on did yeah, the yeah. the golden triangle. The golden triangles in it starts in India? Yeah, it's, okay. It used to be I'm gonna fuck this up, but two of the places I know is India and Thailand. I can't remember the third one, but yeah, we'll get him on and try Cambodia or, or something. Maybe like something yeah. like that. I remember the ants got caught in Vietnam or Cambodia fucking with plane loads of heroin and shit taking it mm. back to the States because they were this, that was the whole CIA yeah, thing. The yeah. Way before, remember? Oh, you might be too young, but there was a Oliver North. Yeah, the Oliver North. Contra yeah, yeah. It was, I was fucked. Like yeah. the Yanks were. He was selling guns to the fucking. It was selling cocaine to the enemy, and then oh, it was buying cocaine off. The Iran of the Contras, who were in Nicaragua, yeah. they were giving him cocaine. He was selling that on the streets of Chicago and using that money to give weapons to Iran, That's right, yeah. who they were actually in a war with Iraq, and the Yanks were back in Iraq. So, and they were actually, and they, they killed two birds with one stone because the, the African Americans were democratizing that Martin Luther King and all that shit just beforehand, and they wanted them to get out of this politics shit. So, what did we do? We fucking get them. Hooked on crack cocaine. Where mm. do you get the crack cocaine from? Fucking, we'll do this. We'll do a switch around. There's and a that's conspiracy, not a conspiracy. That's, that's real. That's a fucking real yeah, thing. Right. That actually went through the American courts, man. Yeah. You know, what like, year was that? Was that the uh, That was uh, the 90s, early 90s, oh, or something like that. Was that was later. I thought yeah. It- no, it was, it was during the... Um, Iran well, the, the Gulf War was the 90s. Yeah, no, it was during the Gulf War. It was just before the... It was, just, it was before the Gulf War... So, no, it was during the Gulf War because Oliver North went to jail and the second Gulf, Gulf War, War was 94? I think, it was, yeah, maybe 91. I will put up the real one. stats yeah, yeah. <laughs> somewhere. But I reckon on the, I remember so on the second yeah. Gulf War, yeah. 
It wasn't a war though, because of war. No, we just to quote Bill Hicks, you need two fights that are so- <laughs> yeah. two sides that are fighting. Yeah, you know. Um, but in the second one, rather than being in jail, Oliver North, this guy that had set it all up, was on CNN and he was in a fucking tank saying, "We're going to invade Baghdad." <laughs> this is the guy that fucking uh, got you know hundreds of thousands of Americans addicted to cocaine so he could. Yeah, uh, good on you, Ollie. Good on, yeah, well, it wasn't just him. <laughs> it's just the whole setup. The whole thing's bullshit. Yeah, so when you worry is. about oh, this president or that president. Yeah, it's all boring. You're a fucking it's moron, system. you know. Yeah. It's just the system. Yeah, yeah. You know, and maybe we can't do anything about it, but at least yeah. understand what system you're in, for yeah. fuck's sake. After a few beers. After a few Sapporos. <laughs> That's 17 Sapporos <laughs> in your guts. Premium beer. Look at this. Ah. There you go. Discover the perfectly balanced taste that's irresistible to all. Are you res- Can you resist it? <laughs> mm. It's not bad. <laughs> I don't mind it. Just try and resist I it. Still, I still think I like the. Um, it's Asahi's. better than Pearl Harbor. Asahi's Asahi's better. Asahi's, yeah, I'll probably say. Better Asahi's better. a bit lighter and a bit, yeah, bit sharper share. or something, I think. As you share rich money. Well, Asahi has a, a, a cool. good history of poisoning people, so they should be good oh, at yeah, it. Oh, yeah, you're talking about that. Yes, yes. Yeah. Well, yeah, my shitty knowledge. Pretty sure they were um, in World War Two creating poisons. Ah, uh, you... oh, should we talk? Maybe we should talk about that. Glazed Maybe. over it a few times. We might have to uh, fact check that later. Later. No, fuck it. We'll just run it. Run it's it. definitely, <laughs> yeah. definitely true. Yeah, it's definitely true. According to Willie, yeah. yeah. you know, that's just that. companies. They got to make money. That's the yeah. system. Well, yeah. Kawasaki make money from made... babies. Fair enough. Oh, fucking building engines for their bombers. Well, evidently the Yanks, the Yanks were selling oil to the Nazis all the way through. That's right. And it was only a certain type of oil that the Nazi tanks wouldn't work without the synthetic oil that only the Yanks made. So even though the United States was in war with the Nazis, they fucking still sold them oil to keep their... Because they want money. Because they want money. Because the whole thing's business, not about America yeah. or versus... That. It's about Fucked these companies so versus these other companies. Good that, versus evil doesn't exist. Yeah, it's Converse versus Adidas. It's, not, it's just yeah. business, man. You yeah. know, like it's not... We've got to get our heads that it's Around us that, versus yeah. them. It's exactly, not, yeah. It's, it's, not, it's not all these little... No, nah, no, you got to think of... Like, I, I first got onto politics, actually. I was, I was uh, like, third-year apprentice, and I was working, it was, like, 91 or 92, and uh, this first Gulf War had stopped, but I was trying to assassinate Saddam, and I was working in the kitchen, uh, in a fucking great kitchen, man. That, you know, we used to do this thing, it was like, uh, it'll get too stressed, and the head chef goes, oh, fuck, there's all these dockets, we're, like, an hour behind... <laughs> And they say, oh, fuck, I've got to put the rubbish out. And the man first, what do you mean put the rubbish out? He goes, grab the rubbish bag, we'll go out the rubbish bag. man, we'll go to take the rubbish out. And he roll out a fucking huge joint. Yeah. <laughs> we stand by it because it's the only place there's no cameras. And we smoke these fucking joints, get trashed. He goes, right, you ready? Goes, yeah. <laughs> we go back in there, you know, stoned off our fucking good. So that was the type of place it was. And I loved everyone there. It was the best job I ever had. And then, not to get too heavy, but it was heavy. And they said, oh, on the radio came on. We just listened to the radio when we are serving. Oh, they tried to assassinate. They put a missile into a, a restaurant in Baghdad to kill Saddam, but he wasn't there. They killed 200 people. Fuck. And I realized that those 200 people were my friends. They were yeah. waiters. They were fucking kitchen yeah. hands. They were fucking me. They were yeah. more me than anyone else. You know, they were my people. I don't give a fuck if they spoke Iraqi or anything. They were, they, they were hospitality folk, and they just fucking wasted them to get this asshole. Mm. And that's when I actually started, first realized that the it's world bullshit. isn't... Yeah. Us versus seems. them, yeah. you know, it's like we're the goodies and they're the baddies. Yeah. I mean, it's all Saddam was America back, he was America back. They put him on place from the fucking beginning, mate. You that's know, right. like, it would, and so that's where I, I was uh, my pol- politics first started mm. was that point. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I was stoned. <laughs> <laughs> well, <laughs> it does open that's, the doorway, well, doesn't well, it? Open it does the doorway, <laughs> but then I just started thinking, I think if everyone just thought about hey, a hairdresser here or in China or in the United States is the same it's the hit. same, yeah. We just speak Let's start judging ourselves language. about what we do, you know? Like, yeah. you're, you're a digger. I'm, I'm with all the diggers around the place yeah. and all that shit, you know? Yeah. And it's a, it's a better way to be. Yeah, definitely. And it also, we've only got one planet, man, so eventually we're going to have to come together. Yeah. You know? So it should We out. won't. We, well, I think, well we, if we don't, we're dead. You well, know? Not in so, our lifetime. Well, yeah, I was going to say, not in our lifetime. Nah. Well, maybe I not. Maybe in our it. kids, you know? But we got to start. we got to start it somehow, you know? And I think it's not a bad way to start. I think the Smack Panda podcast, if, yeah. if other people can get involved, yeah, spread the word, yeah. find the love. Keep spreading spread love, yeah. We sound like Smack fucking Panda freaks. party. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. we're going to have to get that movement going. Yeah, yeah. I, I wanted to put a we'll caveat Canberra. On, my, on my last comment, you know, uh, about my mate Matt, who used to have these photos, that the photos of the girls were all consensual. 
that. I was going to say I could cut that all that out. Yeah, you might be able to cut it all out. But now but, I can't. Well, now you can't. <laughs> <laughs> you but can cut it out and that'll make it more mysterious. <laughs> but um, they, it wasn't like it was a creep. It was fucking... You could have been yeah. a creep, but there's a fucking flash on the thing. Yeah, you know? yeah, and it's printing uh, out, like, yeah, as you take yeah, it. Yeah, that's <laughs> <laughs> What's that noise? Nothing. <laughs> I love you. <laughs> Fire action. <laughs> what was that? That was lightning, baby. <laughs> and we're done. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> so, anyway, uh, if that stays in, that, that's... Well, that it's staying in now. It would have stayed in. <laughs> well, we you just made three jokes just out of it. it would be fun. Yeah. <laughs> what are they talking about? I can, uh, You'd have to wait on. for the extended edition. <laughs> Uncut. The, subs- the um, what do you call it? Membership edition where you yeah, yeah. subscription. Get like a, no, no, no like we'll, we'll make a Patreon. Yeah, they yeah, got to yeah, pay yeah, yeah. <laughs> thirty five dollars an episode. <laughs> no, no, we wouldn't do that. Just for the shirt. Fuck it, we'll just keep it real. Keep it real. That's what we do. Yeah, that's what we do. Sounds good. How are we going? I think it's like two hours in. No, I think we're, I think right. we're good. Yeah. We got um, Tyson, cut, yeah. Tyson and Jones coming yeah. up. No, we get, we got we a get. show coming on Sunday. It's probably going to be a day or two late because it's YouTube camera quality. We'll see. Shit. Yeah, we'll see. We'll see. What we'll, we see. we'll see. What we're going to try and get live. If we don't, yeah. it's because we want better quality and we'll put it out a couple of days later. Yeah. But we'll yeah. be covering Jones but and Tyson live for us. If you need any digging... Excavation done. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Jameson Civil. Yeah. That's right. Jameson Civil, man. They're Get into it. it. He's your guy. Yeah. Thanks yeah. for coming on, man. We Thanks appreciate for it. Me. No, it's good. No, it's good. good to see you again. Yeah. And I'll we'll be catch. the fill-in. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> well, you'll see him again. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Get anyway. us out of the hole. He'll be around. Yeah. yeah. All right, Bye. guys. We'll catch you next Two. week. Bye.